Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, emulated on my computer screen here. I hope you're all having a wonderful night so far, because this week has been a little bit hectic for me. However, I was looking forward to something, and that was this. Honestly, a little bit of a game, a little bit of backstory here. I didn't play, a, I, I feel like I played a wide berth of games in my youth. And one of them happened to be this one. I feel like there were a lot of GameCube games that really cemented themselves as like a like a core memory of mine. And this is one of them. I have a distinct memory of mine back in, I think the year 2007 or something. My family and I got together. We went to Disney World for the first time. I brought my GameCube with me. My brothers and I were all very excited to go into Disney World. But one of the things that I was really, really excited for and one of the things that I really wanted to get done was beat the final boss of this game, the Shadow Queen, at the very end. And I, my brother and I, we spent hours and hours in Disney World. That was cool. But we would come back to our hotel room, and what we did was try time and time again to beat the final boss of this game because we were just so enticed. We were like, oh my god, Disney is one thing, but like, this game is such another thing too. I just remember it being so... I haven't played it in years, so what I remember is probably a little bit different than what I will experience, but I'm looking forward to kind of starting things from scratch again. This is, this is gonna be this is very, very fun. I'm no stranger to this. I see that there's a bit of a test file here. I was testing it all before, but uh, this will be good. And we got some people chatting on too. Apparently everybody, uh, some other folks have some nice memories here as well. More Than Awesome played this when it came out and they were, they were 23 at the time. The Disney Beach trip was the first Mario Party. Ooh, that's cool. I'm glad I'm not the only person that has like an association with like a, like a I guess you would call it a, a retro Mario game. Uh, while also being in Disney World at the time. I've been to Disney World uh, many more times since then, but none of them also had Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door in it. Uh, unfortunately, fortunately, I don't know. I feel like that stuff, it kind of, it saves space for nostalgia. Is the name Cameron okay? Certainly hope so. Hi, Paper Mario. Nice to see you playing Cameron today. Oh my goodness, am I being played? And by played, I mean my emotions are being completely, completely played with. Because I don't know, maybe I'll cry. Maybe I'll cry during this. I don't exactly know. I don't know what this will have in store for me. This is, I'm already getting nostalgia vibes. It's, it's excellent. And I played around a shit because I'm emulating this for the first time. This is the first game that I've emulated on this computer and actually streamed. So I hope things go well. I adjusted the settings. I played around with it. I hope it works okay. We'll hope so. More Than Awesome says that they used to go every year in October to Disney World to get some food and wine festival stuff. And as a big Disney nerd, we used to go every single year, but with COVID and stuff happening, it's been a little tough to go back. Money's a little bit tight. I had my first job, though. I can definitely afford it now, but... What was that, dearest? I have headphones on. I can't hear you very well. It's okay. I'm sure she'll pop and chat in just a hot moment. She's got words to say about that. In any case, mail call! Love this. I hope y'all are into some amateur voice acting, too. Well, I'm not, I'm an, I'm an amateur mixologist, amateur voice actor, amateur firmware developer. I'm just an amateur at everything. Hi there. I'm young and I'm naive, but some like it that way. Oh, tears are your friend. Embrace them. If I can get tears running, this would be great. I need that for my emotional health. It's very difficult for me to get tears out. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'm not going to even try to do something remotely Italian. That's just going to be, it's, it's going to be a disservice to me and my heritage. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Hmm. <clears throat> now, let's see here. Briz, uh, let's see. Luigi's gonna be a Brooklyn fellow this time, if I can remember that. Hello there, Mario. I'm now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into a possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course. Won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. I cosplayed as Princess Peach one time, so I am totally qualified to be saying those lines. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in there with a letter. Check it out. This feels so fitting. Check it out, Mario. Wow. What is it? It's a map. Oh, hats for everyone. Oh, more than awesome. You really are more than awesome. My goodness. Let me go put it on another party hat for that one. I like the color red. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful occasion for celebration, my friends. Thank you all. 
The Thousand Year Door. This is it. It's the game. I, if I if I didn't say the game already, this is the game. This is the one. It's Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Hey, dear, what's up? Do you want hats? What's that, dear? I got plenty of hats. Anna's drinking some Dr. Pepper right now. That's her drink of choice. My drink Dr. of choice. Dr. Thunder. Dr. Thunder. Whoa, excuse me. Like I'm stepping on some company toes there. I'm drinking the coffee cocktail, which actually has no coffee in it whatsoever. It just kind of looks like coffee, supposedly. It looks like really milky, dark, like milky chocolate milk. I understand that. It does look very chalky milky. And honestly, what better way to enjoy Paper Mario than some fake chalky milky? That's alcoholic. It is alcoholic, you're right. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. More than awesome, say they lived on Sam's Club, uh, a Sam's Club variant in college. What did I live on? I didn't go shopping that much. I lived on my fraternity's meal plan. Oh, Doctor Thunder. Doctor Thunder. <laughs> it's an excellent brand. If y'all are familiar with Doctor Pepper, you'd save yourself a little bit of money if you went for Doctor Thunder. It's slightly watered down. But it's good. But it's like a dollar cheaper. It's no, cheap. it's two dollars cheaper now. If you buy outside of places with sugar taxes, it is. Otherwise, I don't think you can find it. You get pit extra around here. Oh, no, no, you still can't get it here because we don't have a Walmart. <laughs> the cans looked less cool 23 years ago. I believe it. I think, honestly, I love the various color. I feel like some people would say, oh, but it's so retro. Ooh. No, I, they've got some really cool stuff here. Oh, there's also some Galaxy Coke here. Starlight. It's, um. Well, they said cool can, right? Sorry, okay. Oh, Flora Mercy's gonna get whoa words. Flora Mercy's gonna get some chalky milky. Honestly, everybody join in the chalky milky chalky parade. Milky? You want some chalky milky? Oh no, not that one. No, not this chalky uh, milky. Actually, wait. How this does is it a... smell? Oh, you can try it. Excuse me, no. sir. Oh, God, Give no. me that cocktail back, you heathen. Get off the freaking boat, dude. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Thanks, dearest. I love you. That's rogue pores. More than awesome has yet to find the Galaxy Coke. It's somewhere. They're sure. I literally Walmart. cannot find it except at Walmart. I can only find it at Walmart. I've tried to look. I can't buy it here in Pennsylvania. I have not been able to find it here. Only in New Jersey. So if there's any, if that points you in the right direction, I hope it's to everybody's benefit. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I'm getting off the boat. Mario can't swim. If I got off the boat now, I would surely die. <laughs> I don't want to die. Mario doesn't want to die. Does he want to die? Hmm. Maybe he wants to die. In any case, welcome everybody. It's Rogueport. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by some rough water. Or rogue water, if you will. <laughs> it's a joke we make around here. Nobody takes this place seriously. Are you sure you want to disembark here? It's kind of run by. It's, it's kind of a shithole, if, uh, if I'm not going to lie to you. I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? Did you hear about the time some guy got stabbed? Did, it, did, did you even listen to the part where I said about the total tax embezzling politician? Did you not listen to any of that? Because I don't think you did. Yet you still want to park here? What's that? Sorry, you say there's a princess here waiting for you? <laughs> of course it's a girl. Is that so? Eh, well, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm not going to stop you. I'm sure she's very pretty. Or otherwise. I know the ladies here in Rogueport. But, uh, you know, y you be careful either way. Don't say I didn't warn you. The girls will trick you. And the men even more so. And those who, you, who are, remain sexually ambiguous? That's just it. Ambiguous. Who knows what to expect from them? Thank you, sir. Appreciate the boat ride. Give ourselves a hot save here. The first save, so I don't break things. I, being that everything is being emulated here, I am under the impression that things may break if I'm not careful. So, I'm going to save as much as I possibly can. Would I like to save all the game progress up to this point? Yes. Saving. Don't touch the memory card in slot A. Where is slot A? I love this. Really, I can't I can't tell what's slot A on this computer. However, if I unplug my router, maybe that's slot A. <laughs> Incredible. How you doing, sir? Hey, welcome to Rougeport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming in here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. See, that's what I was just saying. I was thinking about that. Guidini says... Oh, that looks like... Oh, I love that fish-looking thing. It's giving me axolotl vibes. There are a lot of bugs in the emulation. I guess we'll have to conquer them. We'll face them. Head on. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh, it's Goombella. Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. 
I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl. Tell us what you know. Right now! Uh, never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew, disgusting. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this fire into a fortress. As you command, Lord Crump. We're on it. Well, that's it here. <laughs> no, 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 no. You stop right there, weirdos. I'll scream. Really, I will scream. I will do it. Don't you make me. I'm over here screaming. Oh, please. Somebody come help me. You, with the red hat. You're definitely not eavesdropping on my conversation. Want to come and save me? Can I hear anything? I don't think I hear anything over here. What's going on, peoples? Oh, my goodness. Like, I'd go anywhere with the smelly Linux six like you. Ha! Not likely. Not at all. What? <laughs> what do you think you're doing, chump? You think you could screw up my plans? Of course. That's why you saw me look around unsuredly. <laughs> It's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumple bomb. Which, now that I think about it, seems like sexual harassment when you take that out of context. I can't flee. Not this time. You can't escape the old crumple bomb. <laughs> Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak out of the, of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your uh, hammer. Is that a hammer in your pocket? I don't know how, but I can tell that you have a hammer in your pocket. I'm gonna hit you with a big ol' hammer, boy. One, two, three. Stylish. Excellent. I remember at least that bit when you did the sweet little button pounds. Oh, sweet. You know, that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up, and you'll beat him in no time. Thanks, dude. Oh, I forgot to dodge that one or attempt a counterattack. It's okay. This will be this will be a long learning curve that I have to get back into. Eventually, I'll remember. There are badges and stuff like that. There's special crystal star moves. We'll get to it. All in due time. You got him on the ropes. Come on. Keep wailing on him. Oh, I clicked the wrong button that time. I was trying to click the counterattack button, but I clicked something else instead. It's okay. It's okay. We're all in this together. At least I hope so. Me and the rest of the audience, which as you can see, is completely barren right now. You did it. You did it. Yes. And you get star points. Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get a hundred points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? I'll try not to. What even is a star point? Why would you be telling me this, honestly? Oh, goodness. So much stuff happening here. <laughs> okay, you've got a decent... Sh you've got a couple decent shots, and I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Oh, hi, everybody. One, two, fifty or so. Yeah, that's a... PUNISH him. Punish me. My, 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 how punished I feel right now. Oh, Starpoint. We're an 80s R&B vocal group. Ooh, Starpoint. I love that. What an excellent band name. I also think the... What was that? The Crump and Smash? Crump and Fumble or something like that? That seems like more alternative rock, the Crump and Fumble. Yo, quick, come along this way. All right. Coming along that way, then. Yo, what a bunch of loons. Just Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? You and me? Out back? I go, I gotta talk about politics or something? These guys don't mean any mind. What's this boat thing? I know what the boat thing is. No spoilers for later. In any case, hi, everybody. Y'all look like you're having a lot of fun down there, but I'm gonna go party elsewhere. Excuse me. <laughs> Stop! Oh, it's exercise time. Do some cat cows. This is how cat cows work. What's up, Oreo? Where'd they go? Huh? Did anyone see them just now? Now, cat cows are like, you kind of arch your arms, uh, shoulders back, and then just keep doing that. Oh, crud, they bolted! You're supposed to focus on your core, not I'm your supposed shoulders. to focus on my core. Oh, my God. Ugh. Cam working out. That's me. That's, that's what cat cows are. Totally. Wow, mister. You saved me. Thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. Oh, oh boy, a little kiss from a talking mushroom. The things of my That's a dreams. It's a Goomba. It's a little mushroom person. My name's Gumbella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. It's nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Oh, wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I don't, can't believe I met you here. 
Cool. Well, anyway, no, no offense, but it looks like you just kind of rolled into town yourself, right? I did. I did. Me, me. I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogue Port, so I should have expected it, but like, sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Best workout on D, the cat cows. We had a recent change in the workouts, uh, the workout um, options over here, so that's one of the newer ones. It's the first time I've gotten to do that. Maybe. I don't know. What? Hm. Looks like you're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Yeah. Whoa, 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 bucko. Whoa, what you got there? Huh? It's this map. It's a piece of paper. I found it on the side of the road. Oh my gosh. Is, isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Well, there were these two dudes out back who looked like they were kind of roughing some dude up. I stole it from them. Princess Peach? Wow. Great hoogly boogly if it isn't Master Mario! Oh goodness gracious. Bit of a coincidence bumping into our, one another in this sort of place. <laughs> the boss sends his greetings. How's that road taste, you punk? We're out of here. Are you okay, dude? That hurt. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? We won't forget this. No, we won't. Well, I'm here on business, as you can see. Hmm. Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Her ponytail is so fetch. I love how it kind of looks like a little cartoon flame. Just kind of flipped upside down. That's great. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Ah, well, I was about to ask you that. We stopped at this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? Our ship, you know, our rocket ship, our actual naval base that's currently sitting outside of town. What, you took a ferry in? What an absolute plebeian! You should be royalty. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily, but oh well. She's gone. But at this point, I figure we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. Honestly, I'm looking forward to taking ownership of the whole kingdom if she doesn't come back. Crossing my fingers. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry. I'll tell you. Alright, dude. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But honestly, if you don't find the princess, that's okay. That's fine. I'm sure there are much more capable hands to be ruling this kingdom in. But I know my place, Master Mario. And this is not it. The throne is my place. I'll leave this task to you. I'm gonna go start preparing the funeral. Me? I believe I'll recline to the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps, while plotting the demise of the Mushroom Kingdom. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your heart points running a little bit low. Oh, tea is just so refreshing these days. It really clears the mind of any feeble thoughts. Just drop it, drop on in. <laughs> Anyways, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. Goodness, more than awesome. You were on a roll today. Mad at the pun. I'm uh, mad at everything. Sim used to want to take a trip into space, but too lazy to plan it. I love that. That was the pun. That was great. You got to punish that with a hat. Here's an I have for you, Sims Jeff. Oh, great stuff indeed. I gotta get one of the shiny ones on here. I'm running out of real estate on my head. Oh my god. It's been so long. Anyway, dude. Toadsworth with his puns of anarchy. It's so unfortunate. There's another one. Oh, I miss these days. I must say that, Master Mario, though. The rest of this town is a bit... Rough. Rogue, if you will. Rough indeed. <laughs> I say, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go to the head. <laughs> oh, I can't... <laughs> Oh, I hope the kingdom doesn't hurt me too much for this. It's time for some hand flicks. I think hand flicks are a sort of nerve glide. Anna, if you're here and want to correct me on whatever I'm doing here, I'll take it. Consumption! Oh my god, so much is happening. Hand flicks aren't nerve glides. Is it this thing? Yeah. Oh my god, it is! Oh my god, I was right! This is my hand flicks! I cannot play the game in this position. You've brought this upon yourselves there, Dazni Kwan. Hand flicks. Oh, okay, my hands... Okay, you have to squeeze in your shoulders. No, you don't do that. Imagine... That you're Forward trying to get the back. attention oh of a potential God. suitor. Squeeze your elbows in <laughs> That's not and just me. do this. Do That's more. hand flicks. It's good for your hands. It's no. good for your body. All the way closed. Oh, all the way closed. All the way open. All the way open. Now oh. open. Like bring bring the hands forward. <laughs> oh my god. Forward. Uh, for those of you who are new to the back. crowd, my fiance <laughs> is studying to become a physical therapist. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you. She is gonna throw me across the room. She does know how to flip me, and she has done it before. It's that. a healthy relationship, I promise you that. We've been in this for like seven years. How could we stop now? Oh, dear lord. Anyway, um, 
Princess Peach? Circle legs! Oh my god, there's so much going on here. <laughs> Princess Peach, I can at least do this. One? I don't remember this one. Do I just stand up and do my things in a circle? Oh, okay, that's what I gotta do. I gotta, gotta go out and then you have to go I gotta in. do this. There we go. Oh my god, why do you only do one leg at a time? There we go, one leg at a time. I can't do both. Oh, uh, Princess Peach, did you mean like Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? Don't yeah, bitch, who else would it be? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec. This is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Yeah, dude. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Whoa, this is really intense. Like, well, where could she have gone, then do you think? You know what? Do another thing. Another thing. Oh my goodness. Oh god. You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Huh. BS. Maybe she went off and made her own video game. Because things get boring around here when nobody's doing literally anything. Ooh, ooh, I know Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. Fix myself. Well, I'll, I'll have you know, the only fixing that needs to be done around here is my camera. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit there. I'm fixing all of that. There we go. Oh, Anna's coming out the door again. What are you doing? I'm watching your posture. Oh, I should rush my posture you naturally. You sat down and your head went, what? I'm gonna sit back in my chair just like I'm supposed to do. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Cameron Show. <laughs> The Professor Goom is around here, and they want to tell me something about the university. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Or maybe we'll break our backs trying to be upstanding members of society. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Let's go, dude. Goombella has joined my party. What could this spry young shroom bring to the party? It's Tattle. That's the ability. Spoiler alert. It's Tattle. Oh no, lean back, Cameron Spooky. Actually, what's more terrifying, in my opinion, is Cameron leaning really, really forward because the lights only go to a certain point, after which there's no more light anymore. It's just my face, and it's really creepy. <laughs> Press X to get information about nearby people and objects. This is Rogue Plaza. It's the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters, like myself. Shady Cameron. So he gets closer to the camera. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. Okie dokie! Where am I? That's Gunther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Honestly, he's a little... He doesn't really watch where he's going. He's the kind of guy who doesn't really look both ways when he crosses the street. He's bound to get into trouble. He's basically asking for it. Look at that little hat. If you press X when there's nobody near, somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Yes. Yes. Yes, Goombella can give you hints when she answers, so ask for information often. Or, go at it blindly, because we don't need directions, I know how to get there! <laughs> and of course, Goombella can be quite shade helpful in battle, too. Exclamation point shade, drag race rattlesnake gives <laughs> us sound effect, please! Oh my goodness. I don't have any- unfortunately, I don't yet have any sound commands. I know how to set them up, though. I do. I do know how to set up sound effects. But I just haven't done it yet. I gotta think, what kind of sound effects would be necessary? Shade must be one of them, naturally. I'm thinking Mario dying is another one. Or, um, welcome to the party, a, mor a morbid a morbid llama, a morbid llama, a llama that is morbid. I understand that now, because I read it twice, and I got it. Welcome to the party. How are you? I hope you're wonderful. If you're not wonderful, well, hopefully we can do something about that. And if not, that's okay. There's no pressure. No pressure at all. In any case, hi, everybody. Uh, proud of me. Thank you. First off, we got to find my professor. Where's my professor? Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I, um, don't actually know where he lives. So, keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. That's the professor! You got it in less than ten sec- five seconds. I did- was it really that quickly? Damn, I am really on top of my game today. Although, I'm not actually sitting on any sort of playful medium. I'm not on top of anybody's game. Um, so. But don't tell anybody. My progress was saved. My progress was saved. Your progress was saved. Our progress was saved. That is going to get old very quickly. In any case, let's go find Franklin. Oh, buddy. Oh, pardon me, sucker. Jeez, what an asshole. Gosh. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. <sighs> Loser. Oh. Mario, you got to wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Oh. I should have spent all my money first. That is so lame. Oh, I hate this town. I hate it too. I just got here. There's no sense in trying to be uh, be friendly with this town. Not going to be friendly to me. Although this guy, though. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Frankly. Hey, 
Hey there! It wants me! Ah! It's you! No! Ew, ah, mm, I've seen your face before! That's... That's fake. Um... Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. No! Silence! Silence! I get it right! I get it right! Um... Um... It's not... It's not Goombriel. No. No, it's, uh... Er... Um... Not... A lie. At least a Goom. No. Um... <sighs> um... Oh! I've got it! Jeremy! Now you're Gobella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm... I'm Gobella, a junior at Yugoom. Koo! Go Goombas! Oh my god. I love this. More than awesome's like, once again, this voice acting is the voice that's inside the head when they read this. Too high for these voices. Dude. Dude. I'm drinking alcohol here, so if you're too high, then maybe we'll get a little drunk along the way. It's all about inclusivity. Of course, I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but uh, I'm pretty good at remembering <laughs> you, though. Hey, you stick out in my mind because you're such an exceptional student. Yeah, and that guy behind you is, uh... Ah, oh, that's, uh... Is that your boyfriend? Me? Yeah! Who? Mario, Professor, he's Mario. You know the famous one? And no, we're not dating. At least not yet. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. You know, swagger. Dab. Sheesh! I don't really understand what the kids do. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way up to a place like this? Oh, we were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Ro Rogueport. I thought that if anybody knew anything about it, it would possibly be you, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it! The reason I came here was to study that very subject. Make way! Oh! The sub from Prime Gaming for the Morphin Llama! That deserves a dab. Dab on those haters. Stick around for a little while. Well, I certainly hope you do. Because if you leave me now, if you leave me now, that's okay. Nothing, nothing will change. Life goes on. It's okay like that. Oh my goodness, there's another party hat on my head. You see, them's the thing here. The more events that happen, the more party hats go on my head. And I only have so much space on my head, so... Take that as encouragement, take that as a deterrent, take that as a means to just exist. It's whatever you want to do. Of course I knew about it. The reason I came here was a study of every subject, but why do you tanks want to learn about the legendary treasure? It's not important. Yo, you know, that most say it's a little more a fairy tale, don't you know? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's so many subs! How many was that? Oh my god, there was ten of them! Hi there, everybody. This is Cameron's uh, swap screen, uh, where we, uh, we take care of some business over here. I'm gonna run out of real estate on my head, so I'm gonna have to get a little bit creative over here. I hope you all don't mind a little bit of a break, because uh, there's some things that are happening around here. I have a variety of different party hats to choose from, and now it's a matter of figuring out which ones go where. But now that I have the opportunity to, I hope you all are having a wonderful night so far. This has been very nice. For, this is a this is a moment for full disclosure. It's been a little bit of a stressful week so far. Things have been a little rough, rough and tumbly in my life right now. Oh, I need to pick out I need to pick out the number of hats so I don't forget the number. I have one. I have two, and I will need help with this. Three. Let's you go. Probably do ones that can go over. Four, five. five, six. That's six so far. Two, four, seven four six, one. seven. Here, you get a tall one. Eight. Oh my goodness gracious, I got another one over here. Where's got the you. first one? The first one? What first one? What that first one? one? Oh my god, the birthday one? Yeah, get a different one. Birthday one. Commercial break. And now time for your commercial break, where I will not be running ads because ads are for losers. Why would you want to watch ads about Doritos That's and Mountain nine. Dew? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not ten. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Why would you want to watch commercial about Doritos and whatnot when you can make a grown man make an absolute fool of himself? So Hat Marshall, love it. One here. All right, Anna's gonna help me out with this. I sometimes need assistance. Ooh. I sometimes need a little bit of assistance with this stuff. I I'm gonna put that one, put this one over my head. I feel like the music here is actually very fitting as well. Okay, okay. There. This one's going on my shoulders. That one's on your shoulder. This okay. one's going on my shoulders. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we have to get a little creative. Oh wait, wait. I have there an you. idea. Oh, what, what's your idea? No, I have to no, put no, my put arms that... around it. There you go. Don't break it. There we go. That's one. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Can it's this my shoulder go over rest. You? Yeah, I can do it. I believe in the power of the hats. Here, look. Oh, you've broken, my dearest. How could you do that? Oh, I'm sorry. gonna put one of these Mickey. 
Actually, this, wait, 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 wait. We're just this gonna not take sponsored this. by Mickey Mouse. I promise. No, it's just Disney has literally nothing to do with this show. Uh, if anybody tells you otherwise, they're lying. They're wrong. I that actually worked out, but I broke it. So we. Oh, did you break it? I'll oh my god, there's so many on there. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> this is great. This is oh. what party time's all about. Okay, there are six more hats remaining. Let's get a little bit creative around here. Oh that. my god, one's going around my ears. I could probably put another one around my well, ears. Just gonna, like, stick it That's kind of cool. Oh, way. did you just... Oh, goodness. Oh, that was supposed to stay on like that. There you go. Goodness gracious. Now you have a little hat oh my. There are five more hats. Oh god. Five more hats. This one's also going on my shoulder. I think with this one in line, I can do a little... Let's do, do a little... A stack. Let's put this one there. That one up on top. There we go. There's three okay. party heads. Wait, wait, wait this great. one can stack three times. Yeah, it's stack, stack it three times? Oh, no, no, no. You are triple stack on that one. Yo, triple stackage. Come wait, on, you got it. Three you got it. I believe in you. I have to push Anna. Anna. Shh, shh, Anna. Shh. We're going to stick it this way. Okay, it's going on the back of my head. Did we get the tall one on there? Oh, we did. It's all the way in the back. Okay, okay. okay. More Than Awesome says, hat string broke. They giggled. Uh, they admittedly giggled. Husbando came in and asked, why are you laughing? I don't know. Why are you laughing? <laughs> None of this is funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, good. Oh, wait, 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 you can make this four. Oh my <laughs> god, it's quadruple hat action. I honestly, see, okay, ingenuity okay, comes okay, up okay. at the moments when you most need it. I didn't realize that I would ever need to stack four hats on top of each other in a, in a nice manner. I think this is the most party hat you've ever had on your head. Uh, maybe. Oh, this one's, this is a broken one. We don't need that. Okay, fine. Do I that. think I have another tiny one here. Oh, tiny shit. party hat. Tiny party hat. I might have just broken the whole thing. Ah! I don't think there's any more party hats. There we go. I, I thought I had more tiny party hats. Yo, give me another unicorn horde. Oh wait, tiny party hat! <gasps> tiny party hat! Oh, you found it. Got a tiny one. This one's going. No, on. you already have multiple party hats there. No, oh, no, 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 no. You're silly. gonna put it on. Silly, silly, okay, silly. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't. There we go. There you go. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to wrap that in here. Nope. Flip it up. There you go. All done. <laughs> this would. <laughs> this would be the perfect time for like the the. <laughs> Like some sort of like Final Fantasy fanfare. <laughs> Hi everybody. Now for proper introductions. My name is Cameron. I spell my name with an X. I put on party hats. And I like to party. I like to smile. I like long walks on the beach. Although it better be hot out. Actually, I don't even like the long the long part of the beach. Or the sand Here, part wait, of the Cameron, beach. Cameron, can I have your arm and I like just the heat. stick this through the hole? Oh, what are we doing? Stick him up through the hole? Stick that through the hole. Okie dokie. I trust you. you I have just my like consent that's to do stay so. Better. Okay. I am a... This is the pinnacle... This is there the peak male form. Now you can see all You may not like it, but this is what perfection looks like. Yeah, I don't think that's it, but... And, now, ti <laughs> and now time to hear what perfection sounds like. Our... <laughs> I swear I don't usually have this much of an ego, although if I could all the time, I probably would. Archaeologists and historians have to search for those fairy tales. Yeah, we already hear about that. Goombella, old story. I mean, it's what we're striving for. It's striving for happiness. It's all about feeling, feeling good. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. And I'm definitely not some crackpot on the internet wearing party hats. Consumption. Thank you. I needed this. These are the kind of clips that I look back on and we be like, yep, that's what drove me to drink. <laughs> the internet. Good point. And, oh, well made there. I will mean, in that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. And some would say, I'm just speaking because of the imitation coffee nog that's currently running through my system, but I'm not high. You're high. It's not... It's... Hi, officer. How are you? Not how high are you, silly. Silly, silly, silly. Some folks say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. I would say it's an evil queen that manifested from the darkness that has been sitting in a chest for so long and it's just waiting for you to unleash her. But that... That wouldn't... That wouldn't be right. Thank you, Imitation Coffee Nog, the cause and solution of all life's problems. You say my name? A morbid llama? I don't think I did. However, a morbid llama is here now, and they're here to stay, it seems. So many different theories. Oh, a morbid llama said hi. Well, hi, hi, I'm up. Hi, hi, I'm hi, hi. Nice to hi, hi, <laughs> hi. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them, but I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, 
take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. Not as poetic as I imagined it would be, but the rhymes are there. You mean the crystal stars are that old saying that super elderly people pass down? You know, old folks like you. Indeed the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you at first have to collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. I honestly thought that was going to be said more like, hold the phone there, Doc. No, it was not. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah, equally as lame as the other phrases. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct, and the Thousand Year Door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town, but what a coincidence that would be. Who would believe that? Yeah, the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map is lost. If only we had that map. Camera with a hat. Love that. This has been a clippable experience. I'd like to thank you all, Dosni Kwan. Cam rocks it with a hat. There we go. Gotta re can't remember the, hat, the silent X in there. It's it's irrelevant. X is just X is just a cool letter. It's a really cool letter of the alphabet. That's why. Well, we do have it, Professor. Or well, not we. Take a look at my boyfriend. I mean, the main character of the game. Exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Really? You you actually have. Yet? Could I? Could I just? Could I take a? Could I take a quick look? If, if, you, if you don't mind, I've just I've been waiting for this moment my entire life, literally. Ah! It's starting. This is it. This is the real thing. I'm the one and only magical map. This man literally cannot contain himself. You shatter my hero! You great, fantastic, wonderful, even I could, I could kiss you, but I won't because I'm too familiar with HR policies of the previous universities that I've worked at, which I got kicked out from. With this. This map, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door, just like the lame-ass poem says. <laughs> right on, Professor. Yeah, you got it. You totally came to that conclusion all on your own. Don't oh, call what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella, Mario, Jeremy, whatever your name is. Let's go! Off we must go this instant. Let's take this magical map to the legendary door. Hey, is there anything in your trash can? I'd like to, I'd like to... Uh, yeah, no, nah, I didn't want to talk to you. I just wanted to check with them. I, I wanted to check about the trash can, but there's nothing in the trash can, unfortunately. Goodness gracious, that was a whole debacle. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing come off, did you? We're still going. <laughs> Whack it with my hammer! The old Frank, the old professor's got a hammer there, too. We can use this pipe to get down onto the city streets. Or cause mass mayhems by blocking up the piping system, which would not be the first time that this happened in Rogueport. They were not the first time, indeed. Come on, both of you, let's let's get moving. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on, guys, come on. We're going, we're going for a ride, guys. Where, where are you going? Come on, come back into the pipe. We're going the wrong direction. I'm gonna go buy things at the shop first and save. Saving is important, but also purchasing different goods from the store and whatnot. Also, I'm gonna do something that I totally didn't see coming. Oh no, this woman's lost her keys or something. Hey, you two, not another step. Don't come this way. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, don't do it. Uh-huh, no. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. Only one. I can only see out of one eye. I'm basically blind now. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move a single muscle there, or I swear to God, I'm going to come after you. Don't think that I won't. I have sex. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch. You hear? An inch. A centimeter's okay. What was that? A centimeter's okay? Centimeter's okay. Ah, you idiot. You stepped on it. My poor contact lens. Toad out whap. That means... Warm as pastries. That's what that means. This is... This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lenses, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Give me a smooch. Don't, don't give me a smooch. It's disgusting. The rapper with one eye. Fine, if that's your, if that's your plan, then here's mine. You oaf. I'm gonna block this gate to the west side till you bring me a new contact lens. You sicko. Silly me. Y'all got any pastries cooking in here? I just want to cook some food, bro. Can I have some food? I literally haven't eaten in days. Mario's been on a ship. They have no food. There is literally nothing here to eat. I'm starving. 
Graffiti Quarter. Hey, welcome to the party there, fried Twinkies, which absolutely sounds delectable right about now. I'm gonna put a party hat on in your, uh, in your, um, in your presence. Oh, it's stuck to the bottom of my party box. Oh, goodness. Here goes nothing. One more. There's plenty of space. What am I talking about? There's plenty of space in the party hat head. Honestly, the more party hats I have on my head, the easier it is to place more party hats. Who knew? It's recursive like that. Graffiti Corner. I just saw the most beautiful, elegant princess in Rugport. I think I'm smitten. Podley's best customer. I actually, for the longest time, did not realize what the term smitten meant. I thought smitten meant I'm angry at somebody. So I decided to use the term smitten. I was like, I am really smitten with this person. And somebody responded with, you have a fiance. How could you be smitten with another person? I thought you two were like monogamy for life. And I was like, what does this have to do with my relationship? I thought, I thought smitten meant like I'm really, really angry with them. And they were like, nope. Definitely means that you're in love. I was like, oh, interesting. Oh, prize points. I, you don't need to explain to me prize points. I think I understand the whole loyalty uh, loyalty program. I do have a credit card. I'll have you know. I'll take a mushroom. I got an item. Thank you. You can use items to attack enemies and replenish your... <laughs> Press button and choose items from your gear screen to see your items. Thanks, dude. I'll take another mushroom if that's cool with you. I'm also gonna take some honey syrup. Don't know why. I just want a full inventory. Let's take one of these fire flowers, too. Money is worthless. We will always get more. And why not one of these sleepy dudes? Actually, I've always wondered what this fright mask does. I distinctly remember... I don't think I ever used items when I was younger. When I, Whenever I play games in my youth... I would never use items. I was like, items are for chumps. I'm not gonna use them. I'll find more items along the way. But like, there is some merit to it. And I think, honestly, I'm not as... I was gonna say I'm not as much as a tryhard as I used to be. I am just as much as a tryhard as I used to be. Probably even worse. But I will use items now because I'm not... I want to. It'll make things easier for me. Honestly, a stress-free existence is what I'm looking for. And I'm halfway there, maybe? I don't know. Well, now it's time to go down. Hey, can I can I come through? Whoa, whoa! Hold up now. You're an outsider. Fastest point is the turf of the Ishnail. How are the robots? It's Ted Coy's to pass through. Try to pass without paying? I'm afraid I'll have to whip you. But good. I can take you. I'll beat the shit out of you. What? You think you... You've got to be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm going to make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. I have full faith that I can rip this guy to shreds. How, though? I am not yet sure. But with the power of love and compassion, anything is possible. How much health does this guy have? Let's use the tattle. Tattleness. Tell me more. Line up the cursor with the big cursor. I got it. Nice. That's Gus, bro. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everybody. He's a bit of an asshole. Max HP, 20. Attack, 3. Defense, 0. All in all, pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. Come to think of it, Gabella, this is the first thing you've mentioned this, so it bears repeating. Don't put your foot on sharp things. You'll die. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Jeez. Ah, I tried to dodge that, but I was not able to. Huh, that hurt. Gus sounded like a sedated Trump. Bro, I don't know what you're talking about. You have no choice of beating me. Trust me. You better run. Yeah. You don't seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from your tactics menu. Sometimes it's best to run. I wouldn't trust this guy. Well then, Sir Gus, who's down to 18 health. Can I survive? Probably not. Probably not. Let's see, let's see how we can do this. I will use the I will use my powerful ability. I can't use Goombella, so I have to use items because I can't I can't bonk him on the head. Naturally. Any no, I, I hate how I don't have an audience yet because I'm not very high up in level. Unfortunate though. Well, I guess I'll use my item. A little bit of fire flower. Is that gonna do any good for me? Yeah, get him. That was pointless. It's okay. Oh, I did not hit that properly enough. Uh, let's do that. I don't know. It'll happen. You can use. You can just support Mario. You know, that's what you can do. Heal our boy. Give him the feels back. I don't know why I decided to take this guy on. I knew that it was a bit of a losing battle. It's okay. It's okay. We'll make our way through. Oh, I clicked the wrong button again. It's okay. Like I said, steep learning curve. It'll it'll be fine. Uh, you can't do that. How about you defend? 
At least you'll survive. That's probably advantageous. Can I survive a couple more turns? The world may never know. Oh, I tried. I tried. I might click you the wrong button or something. I probably am. I can survive another hit. This will be fine. Okay. That was that was not as cool as I wanted to be. Oh my goodness, I dodged it! I clicked the right button this time. Okay, that's that's fine. That was that was something that was okay. You just keep doing what you're doing. Do you wanna use an item on Mario? Use a mount item on Mario. I think I think this is doable. I have full faith in our abilities. By our powers combined, we'll kick this dude's ace. See, I just need to do it two more times. Or, or not get Goombella killed. That would also be pretty cool as well. Wanna defend? Wanna defend? You can defend. Nah, it's okay. I don't think you need to survive. Just Maria needs to survive. Got this in the bag. We got this in the bag. There's no way we could possibly lose. No way we could possibly lose. Defend yourself. You're fine. Honestly, I was not expecting this to work out as well as it did. That was excellent. 22 points. This is great. We're off to a great start. We're already above the curve. We're already ahead of the curve on the whole uh, leveling up thing. Grud, you dumb video game heroes. Always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh. Don't you? It does. It clearly worked. How's everybody doing over here? It's locked, I know. It's also locked. Trouble center. Nobody going in there. It's fine. Nobody cares. I'm gonna go heal myself before I go down into the pipe. That's what I got the items for. The items wasn't for anything important or game-breaking. It was just because I wanted to prepare myself. You never go in without protection. If you go in without protection, you could die. I mean, technically that's exactly what I did, but... I mean, I did have my items. That's that's at least meritable. Yo, what's up, Toadie? I need to talk to you about staying here. Welcome to the Lone Refuge in this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. Would you care for a bed? Yes, please. I would be happy to. Enjoy your stay. No, enjoy your stay. You too. Oh, that was awkward. You ever go to a restaurant and they're like, enjoy your food, and you're like, you too, and then just feel really awkward afterwards? I'm actually the guy who I will say that, and I will be like, sorry, I didn't mean it that way, but thank you again. Because I don't want to be awkward. Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. I'm ready to face the world. With the power of my feet, stompage abilities, and everything else. Broom crack a lack a lack a It's a boom boss a boom festival. We'll be talking to that guy later. Save all game progress up to this point? I would say so. I'm like halfway through my cocktail now. This is exciting. I'm getting like... I'm getting that nostalgia. The way that nostalgia manifests itself for me is I feel like, I feel like a little flush, feel a little like, it's not an, it's not embarrassment. It's just like, I feel the blood rushing to my face. It's like, oh my God, I'm feeling a certain way. Oh wait, just, hold on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so um, keep a guard up. You two do know about the action commands, don't you? Yes, I do. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once just to be safe. No thanks, I'm totally cool. Aboard, young lad, aren't you? Very well then, down we go. Just stand on the pipe and tilt down to enter it. Come on now, I certainly can't wait. Let's go down, quickly, underground. Hold up, pop into the pipe and tilt down and go into it. Sir, you could be a little less pushing here. Kind of freaking me out, dude. A little less. Sometimes when Sims Jets is at the grocery store, the cashier will ask if you found everything needed and they'll respond with, yes, yourself. I'll admit I haven't been in that scenario, but that gives very, very similar vibes. I'm gonna try to do that the next time I go to the store and somebody asks me if I needed help, if I found everything okay. Most often, nobody talks to me at the grocery store. Nobody wants to come near me at the grocery store, but I don't think it's me specifically. I think it's just everybody not wanting to do anything. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's that hottie you got there, baby? Bro, you... What's up, baby? Why don't you wanna hang with us for a while? We'll play real nice. Man, what's a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute? Like, seriously. Uh, yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of the way. Ouch, that was cold, dude. What, were you too good for us? Come on, sister. Nobody sings us like that. Nobody, let's get him. All right, let's get him. 
I think I think he just gave the instructions to Felicio. Maybe. A literally all a literally all you know. Wink wink. Nudge nudge. Oh. A Goomba. Spider Goomba. And a Paragoomba. My the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should worry about is that fellow in the middle, Spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? It's spiny. Well, jump on that and you're the one who will take some damage there. Oh, Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer's not gonna reach. You'll have to jump for him. It's a tutorial. We'll force you into it anyway. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always! And if you don't, you're a fool. You should come to my university and pay for my class. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Goombella. Don't forget that. Don't forget. Or I'll kill you. I will literally find you. I will make sure you don't forget. I will end you. Get on the pipe and tilt down. Get on the pipe and tilt down. That seems oddly suggestive, but we take those. All right, Mario, what's it gonna be, buddy? Hammer? Hammer time. Do I have an audience yet? Am I entertaining yet? No, there's nothing. Oh my goodness. Ah! In any case. It's all about trying to get these guys. Honestly, if you can't call a woman like that, you're bound to get some trouble. If you can't call my woman, Goombella, I guess, uh, I will I will end you. I will end you. I will not actually end you. I will just kind of like look deviously in direction, very disapprovingly. It'd be very annoying. And I'd be a little flustered. That's probably what would happen if you if you can't call my girl. Ally, man! We're out of here, dude. Get it, get off of it. Girl couldn't be chill or anything like that. <laughs> Later, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where I came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. If you attack successfully, you can perform a first strike when you enter the battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump them as you go into battle. Or don't, and perish. Or do, and also perish. You could die anyway. Mario, just don't forget. Never forget. Death is always close at hand. And if you forget that, well, that's... That's a loss for you there, sir. It's gonna be very unfortunate. Alright, buddy. Let's get a go on. Hey, dude, how you doing? First strike. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's all about that first strike action. A little bit of the boop, boop. And that's it. And we're done. Honestly... Conflict in general could be as simple as this. It's either avoid the conversation entirely, disengage. It could be find the person on the street who's antagonizing you and jump on their head. It could be that easy. But alas, we live in a society, or at least so they tell me. And in this society, it's technically frowned upon to be stepping on people's heads, let alone stepping on any parts of their body. I mean, to be fair, if I treated people the way that I wanted to be treated, and I started stepping on people, I feel like that might give the wrong idea. Might give the wrong idea. Hey, Mushroom. What's up? Whack. For a moment, I completely forgot how to use my hammer out in the field, but it's a, it's a time for remembrance. It's a time to figure things out. In a stylish way as well. A morbid llama lives for conflict. I live for conflict. I'm the one... I'm the type of person who doesn't like to cause the conflict. However, I love to observe it from afar. I have... I, like some other people in this world, and I'm not afraid to say it, have a, a little bit of... a little bit of maliceness that lives within me. A bit of schadenfreude, if you will. When I see other people getting into kerfuffles with each other, I'm kind of like, oh, well... <laughs> Glad it's not me, or uh, or rather, rather that's not that's not necessarily true. These are these these are how I get my sick kicks. My sick kicks come from like things that I know that I can do that will inconvenience other people, such as, for instance, consumption and consuming it well. What I mean is, for example, I'm standing in a line, right? And imagine the scenario: you're in a line, and there is a really really disgruntled patron behind you, and they're disgruntled because. They need to get ahead of you. They're on a budget. They're on a time crunch, but they're behind you in line. They're behind me in line. So oftentimes, whether I do it consciously or not, I will just kind of take my time. I will not be extremely close to the person in front of me. I will not be rushing to make my order because honestly, 
I'm here just as much a customer as you are, and I'm gonna take my damn time. And if you got a problem with it, my damn, you can say it directly to my face. Please don't take it out on the cashier, though. I've been in situations where that has been the case before. There was one case I was at Panera Bread, and there was just like, my family made their order, came and left. Ouch, my buns. And um, it, my, my, my family's got a, my, my, uh, my family can be a little bit tough sometimes when it comes to a bunch of people ordering at once. So we had our order, I said thank you, I said apologies for any inconvenience, and we kind of walked along. But this other dude comes up and makes a huge, huge stink about, I don't even know what it was. It might have had something to do with like the way the tables were cleaned or something like that. And they seemed to make like one of the cashiers seem really, really, really uncomfortable. And so after the fact, I was just kind of like, hey, by the way, like, it looks like it was a little rough for you up there. Like, you're doing a really, really great job, and you did really, really great with my family, and I just wanted to make sure that you knew that, because, like, this person certainly didn't give you the thanks that you deserve for being in this kind of position, because retail is tough. It's annoying. And Morbid Llama works in a job that, requ that requires conflict. Lines are, men, lines are men for waiting, and I agree with that. What kind of job, if I may ask, if I may, if I may pry for a moment, what kind of work do you do, Morbid Llama? What requires conflict? Dare I say, I could say that my job requires conflict too, although it's not exactly accurate. Custom, the customer is always chaotic. Chaotic. You know, supposedly, and I could be totally talking out of my ass on this one, the whole, the customer is always right, is a phrase that is truncated. That's not the full phrase. And I don't remember what the full phrase is off the top of my head, but if you read the full thing, it isn't an excuse for a customer to act like an asshole to the person who's serving them. That's, that's I don't think there's much an excuse for that. Unless that person, across, if the person on the other side of the cash, the uh, the counter is an asshole back to you, then you got full right to go ha to full and ham on that and fight back. Um, hopefully with your words and not your fisticuffs, but alas, to each their own. Whoa. Hey, you. Wanna help me? You can? It must mean you're the hero of legend. Me? Yeah. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah. Everyone else? Nothing. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's me, the hero of legend. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for my hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a, a word with you. Not exactly confident we could trust this, uh, box, chest, container. Mm. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal star. Oh, near my big fat mouth. Well, drat, there we go. I just said it out loud. What the hell is wrong with me? Oh, yeah, searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely going to need my help if you want to hope to get those bad boys. So, first you should look for a key to this box, then use it to, uh, you know, let me out. Do you mean lock a little bit? Definitely. By the way, key looks something like this. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? I say we let him out of the box. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in this box is no picnic. I'm counting on you. Oh, great. Legendary hero. Well, that seemed convincing. I'm gonna go get this guy a key. A morbid llama is the guy in retail in the retail store that you don't want to see. If you see me, that means that you've stolen something. Ooh, bit of a bodyguard action going on here. I can understand why that job requires conflict. Technically, if the contact it's a conflict that you're speaking of, which I am assuming now has to do with stealing items and potentially other bits of physical conflict, if that didn't exist in the world, you'd be out of a job. See, conflict makes profit. Step one, conflict. Step two, a bit of physical exertion to hunt them down, I suppose. Step three, profit. That's how the world works. It's all about working and stuff like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't steal that key from anybody, did you? Because if you did, I got a bodyguard. You might, um, anyway, you brought the key. Yes. Oh man, I owe you big, dude. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Think nothing! <laughs> Fools! Here I go. It's me and my little ugly time. Oh boy, did you fall for it! I burned you! What, you thought I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box! Yeah, 
Sorry, but those are the bricks, kid. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Buggly wuggly woo, you're cursed. Just like that. <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. <laughs> you wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well, kid. From now on, if you press the Y button, in certain areas you'll turn into a paper airplane. <laughs> Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't help but chortle, you're doomed! <laughs> now, anyway, for the explanation, this curse is pretty rough, so I guess, so, um, I suppose I owe it to you to explain it a little bit. Uh, ready? So if you stand on an airplane panel like this, like this one here, the floor will start to glow a little bit, kind of like what you're seeing right now. Yeah, okay, so you're on the panel, now pressing the Y button, and then bam, you're a paper airplane. Easy, just like that. Paper airplane. T totally terrible. Totally, totally terrible. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt the joystick left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing about this curse. So, to be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, it's, 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 ter it's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. But, uh, don't get your hopes up. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> and he crumbles up and he goes away. You don't steal, do you? I do not steal. There was... My last stealing experience was a young boy in the mall, and I stole a Lego brick from the Lego store, and my mother took me right back and gave it back to the people who worked in the Lego store because that's a wrong thing to do, and I have since learned my lesson since then. No more stealing since then. I was a young boy at the time. Young and naive. Floral Mercy likes this voice. Gives you abridged vibes. I'm glad that that's doing that for you. It's, um, the, the, it's nice. I like it. I thought I was going to say the earlier version of it, the little raspy one is a little bit tough on my voice. I haven't quite figured out a way to do that comfortably yet, but the other one, the whole, this kind of thing. Oh, that's very, very, that's very, very easy to do for me. So, uh, untruth, you stole your fiance's heart, didn't you? Untruth, I stole my fiance's heart. <laughs> Actually, my, she went, she did, we, our first date, she, sorry, I'm getting fumbled for my words here. I get a little flustered sometimes. She, our first date was a pity date. I asked her out to go to see uh, a movie with me, and she was like, well, I can't not say no to this guy, I guess, right? That would just be awkward. So it was actually a pity date to begin with, oddly enough. Uh, it definitely wasn't a whole love at first sight thing. Uh, but, but after a while, oh yeah. We've been at it for a hot minute now, so. So, uh, wow, just, wow. Um, what, what was that, guys? Beef? Something about a terrible curse or something like that? <laughs> I don't really know. I wasn't really paying attention, to be perfectly honest. Something about this little thing here, and, wow! Oh my god, I'm being folded! Mario doesn't even know. Oh, I had to tilt it left and right. Whoops. This is what this is what that box meant. Tilt left, right, and steal your um paper airplane. So you have to be a good pilot if you want to fly far. Try it once more. Thank you, dude. I forgot that it was left and right. I thought it was up and down. Really, you didn't have to remind me. Frankly, you really didn't have to. Quite frankly, I could do without your sass, dude. I could really do without it. Anyway, paper time. Now left and right. That's how we play this game. Easy. Right through the door. I remember, I, I remember when I, uh, when I was playing this game when I was younger with my brothers playing in the room and whatnot, that I would try as hard as I can to fly as far as I can to see if I could make it through that door. And I think the time when I finally ran into the door, I was like, what? I don't go right through it? I was very disappointed. Oh my, Uncle Bella, look at that! It's a giant door! Maybe it's been here for a thousand years, who knows? It's the thousand year door spoken of in legends. Or maybe... It's just the door to a parking garage for a very large semi. But if it is the Thousand Year Door, I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. There it is. Big as life. Come, come. Let's, let's move closer. That seems a little daring to me, don't you think? Moving closer to the big giant object. I don't know about that. Seems a little spooky, but I think I'll take my chances. Anyway, so there's this thing about a door that's been here for about a thousand years. Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What, is, what could it be, you think? Now, I'm no, I'm no man of faith, 
but I believe if I step on this pedestal, something will happen. I already knew that. I love this whole thing. This whole thing is just great here. Professor, what's going on? Well, you see here, good fella, a special thing happened when a when a magical map and a a, a century a multi a millennia year old door love each other very much. One starts to get a little hot and bothered, starts to emit these starry particles, starts to float in the air like floating on cloud nine, and whoa! That's when the magic happens, little girl. What kind of magic, Professor? Please, why don't you enlighten me? Well, you see, what happens is a crystal star appears on your map and it will reveal you the location of your wildest dreams and treasures. Is that all, Professor? Oh, that's appropriate for the conversation. Well, it looks like the first crystal star is up in Hooktail's castle. How do I know that? I just do. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map, and Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Professor, the map. And what was with all those crazy lights? It appears that information related to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh yeah, oh yeah, quick transition. Whoosh! Whoosh! Small commercial break. Uh, commercial break over. Hmm, aha, I see! What do you see, sir? Tell me more. Well, you see, you, uh, you understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw signing on Mario. My, by my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Are you sure it doesn't have, like, a cooler name than that? That seems incredibly nondescript. Yes, it is. Well, uh, mm, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. So, let me take you into my little, little paper realm. Would you like to try it out? No. This is very important. You'd better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No. You're absolutely sure? Well, all right then. I suppose. I guess I'll figure it out yourself then. Let's have a look at the magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow! Astounding! Absolutely no segue into that line. This map has radar-like functions and now shows the location of a crystal star. Definitely didn't see that during the cutscene. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found at a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Roomport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. What with the giant castle in the background and the sounds of dragons in the distance. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel is efficient. Like borderline transportation. Not that that exists in this world. Or does it? Perhaps out of this world. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map anyway? The princess! From Princess Peach. Really? Her highness sends this to you, Mario. You're telling me. The main female character in all of your past video games is yet again reaching out to you with important key items? How unusual. This Princess Peach, that wouldn't be this chick, would it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, looks like looks like the girl of Peach it is. So it is her! You don't have to scream in my ear, dude. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure! I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows, but she, I don't think she listened to me to be perfectly honest, but my goodness, she was really, really pretty to look at and talk to, and uh, it, it doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own and maybe got eaten by the dragon. Oh, did I mention the dragon? There's a dragon over there. You know, Professor, there, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. Bye-bye. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. 
collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Thank you for the map fact. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt I doubt a shriveled Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. <laughs> of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. All right, and we're off on this beautiful, wonderful journey. Dazniquan says, wait, I missed that. What'd he do? I do voices, that's all. Wait just a moment! Come back! Here, <laughs> take this! <laughs> you got Power Smash! Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power! Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. I hope you didn't notice it sticking out of my pocket previously or very haphazardly placed upon one of my drawers in the back. It's, um, it's a family heirloom. Let's just call it at that. Definitely not an illegal item that I smuggled in. It's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip the badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No. Are you absolutely sure this is the last time I'll ask? You want practice? No, dude. Oh, by the way, you need flower points to use, so you're on your own, sucker. Peace! In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well... Here's hoping you find the pipe to Petal Meadows and learn how to use that badge of mine. Stupid little kid. Thinks he knows everything. What a little scrub bag. He doesn't even know, honestly. Stupid kid. Anyway, now I can smash things powerfully. That's that's what it's that's the implication here. Sims just has forgotten. Swiss cheese brain. I feel like yo, I could really go for some cheese right about now. We don't carry a lot of cheese in this particular apartment because oftentimes I don't eat it fast enough and I wind up forgetting that it's here and it molds and it's sad and it's disappointing. But alas, maybe one day. I think, do we actually have any cheese right now? Do you want cheese? Anna asks if I want cheese. Yes, I want cheese. Wait, what are you doing? My spider senses are tingling, oh, and my spider my senses are mentioning- Just kidding, we have molded cheese in the fridge. My spider senses have now become significantly less tingly. That's terrifying. What did you do? I thought we only had this for a week. Wait, didn't you just buy that? Yeah, we did. Interesting. Whack. Well, that's why we don't keep cheese in the house. I hit a tentacle. Tentacle's dead now. Bye, tentacle. Oh, you cool, dude? Wait up. Hey! Whoa! What's the solution? Oh, next guy hit me. Snacks. Oh, look at that. I have snacks. I forgot that those are on my desk. Hey, bloopy doopy. <laughs> Now, who just goes up and wakes someone's tootsies like <laughs> Oh my god. Who just wa up and whacks someone's tootsies like that? Bloopity bloopity bloop bloop. Somebody with some serious moxie. That's who. Oh! Bloop bloopity bloop bloop bloop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. Ha! Bloopity bloop. Blue! He's in a world of hurt. I'm gonna get him. This whole squid speak seems rather insensitive. Bloop bloop bloopity bloop bloop bloop. I'm gonna give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. That seems inappropriate. Uh, hey Mario, you remember what pro uh, Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. I cannot flee. I am... There is no way to escape from here. But... Oh, I didn't heal myself! Oh well. Tentacle. I will strike the left tentacle. And I guess tattle on that. If I knew, like, the health of the tentacles and whatnot, it would probably be a... I wouldn't have to waste the move on this, but it's fine. It's fine. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S. -S. Gross. Disgusting. Max XP is 12. Attack is 1. Defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down. And then, it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and house on those slimy na Now relax and house on that slimy, nasty blooper. I've never heard that term before. Interesting. Bloop bloop bloop. Hey, mustache. Bloop 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 bloop. You're thinking I taste good, aren't you? Admit it. You know you want me in your mouth. Bloop 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 bloop. Yeah. You want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? Don't you? Come on. Say that you want it. <laughs> You're darn bloop when I do. I really want to stick one of those in my mouth. Bloop ha. I would never let you do that. Oh my goodness. Bitch slap me, why won't you? What an asshole. I think I can hit this uh, this tentacle down here, right? I hope. Boop, boop, boop. 
Style, style. Oh, just one style then. Oh, that one's out of here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. I'm gonna bonk on him. Bonk it. Bonk on it. Cameron, Dorothy housed on that Wicked Witch of the East. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the, the Wicked Tentacle of the East. And uh, if Dorothy's around here somewhere, I hope that somebody tells her to go home. This isn't a place for a young girl like Dorothy. Stylish, dude. I still got it. I've still got it, damn it. And I don't remember how to do the stylish move for that one, but... Hey, he's back up again. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm gonna... Oh, I don't have any FP. Well, it's a good thing that I've got this girl to give me some honey syrup to replenish my everythings. Here you go, pal. Yeah, there you go. Get some of that flower power back. Easy. All right, let's get him. Boop, boop, boop. Stylish, stylish, stylish. Oh, just not stylish. Oh, nice. Epic. I'm glad that I was able to avoid that. Otherwise, I don't quite appreciate being inked on. But that's it. Bloopy doopy mehoobity doop is gone. And we're almost at a level up. Dude, if I can at least manage leveling up once every stream session, I think we'll be in good hands. Blah, 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 blah. Bye. Now that's pretty cool and all, but like, what's the real problem here? Where's the real boss here? You're not the actual boss of this place, are you? You are. This is how we have, must proceed. And off we go. Onwards, the end of the prologue. I think, right? Yeah, it's the end of the prologue. Chapter one. Castle and dragon. Psst, I told you there was a dragon. But y'all just didn't believe me now, did you? Y'all just didn't believe me. Nah, you believe me. I think you did. Petal Meadows, a beautiful place of petals and meadows. There's petals in the meadow. That's 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 the that's the metaphor to be had here, I suppose. Anyways, what do you what's your say? Looking around all suspicious like. Well, here we are. The petal meadows where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario! Start of our adventure! This is completely awesome! You know, awesome is my favorite word. Nice star piece, appreciate that. Anything over here? Nice, appreciate it. Love that. That one hat is moving from being a shoulder hat to a Madonna cone bra. Oh, you mean like... <laughs> you mean like this, per se? <laughs> Pow! Gotcha! <laughs> honestly, the party hats have a... They have a mind of their own, and honestly... When you've got a party hat with this many layers, there's one... Oh my god, there's like literally... There's four party hats there. That's not just one, that's four. I think that's the most densely packed party hat I've ever had. Aside from literally the ones that are currently stacked on top of each other for storage reasons. Oh goodness. That looks freaky. You'd think that there was a dragon flying above us or something. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> oh, is that a... Wow, Mario, look at that. <laughs> it's my mother-in-law. <laughs> nah, my mother-in-law is a really great person. Also, she's not a dragon. That's just rude. Speaking of which... Do y'all like dragons? Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. I, for one, can't say the same. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful? Wow, crazy. We just started, and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's get going. All right. Hit things. Hit things. I vaguely remember something about hitting things. Which ones, though? Can't quite recall. I know there's an order you have to hit these rocks in, but I don't remember what that order is. That's okay. Another thing there. Something behind the tree? I thought there was something behind this tree. I think I also remember those little, those little like, blue blobs and their eyes following you if you go by them, but I don't quite recall. Nice. Badge. Epic. I like dragons, but when they're in the in battle, the fight always seems to drag on. See, I also had another dragon-related pun, but it's a little suggestive. AKA... No, oh, here, here. Actually, I'll set it up. I'll set it up. Because <clears throat> this show isn't for kids. That's my preface here. <clears throat> Do you like dragons? Dragons? Dragon D's nuts! Ha! <laughs> ha! Across the ground, across the petal meadows, across the flowers that definitely didn't deserve this, but they got it anyway, because, my goodness, the flowers don't scream using sounds. Flowers scream with smells and 
different, like, um, different, like, things and whatnot. It's unfortunate. Supposedly, and this is merely what I have read from articles online, patches of grass can't scream with words, but they can scream with scents. And apparently the scent is the scent of, uh, the scent of a nicely mowed lawn. That's the smell of... Oh, I didn't mean to jump on you. That's unfortunate. Definitely didn't mean to do that. Well, while we're at it, we might as well bounce on everybody. Yeah, might as well. Come on, everybody join the party. Everybody bounce on people. Nice. All right, Mario, do what you're supposed to do. Get your shit together, Mario. Come on. There we go. That's excellent. I much more appreciate that than otherwise. That's what I get for not paying attention. I was a paying. I was paying too much attention to the dragon-related puns and other suggestive innuendos that I wasn't paying attention to the battle at hand. Come on, dude. Oh. Ugh. My hammer was in the wrong direction, unfortunately. A little bounceage. Oh man. No, no, don't do it! Don't do it, Mario! Oh, thank goodness I killed you. I could not... I cannot handle fire flowers right now. Oh my goodness. Buddy. 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 That's not necessary in the least bit. Bouncing on people sounds fun. Dude, you and me both. I just want to, like, if I could... Well, actually, I will say this. If bouncing on people is as fun as bouncing on a trampoline, I'd bounce on people all day long. And yes, I absolutely meant for that to be taken out of context, obviously. Hey, dude. Oh, no, I didn't get my first strike. Oh, goodness. And there's two of you. Well, that sounds exciting. Well, I can at least take care of one. That's cool. That's nice. I appreciate that. And then, um, yeah, you. I mean, do some good. Tattle on him. Go ahead. Give him a little tattle. Tell me what's going on. That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky-headed Goomba. What a creative name. That spike is super pointy, so it's better to hit it with a hammer than jump on it. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, defense is 0. The addition of the spike means it'll you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh! Idiots. Of course you know that. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. Just like bouncing on a trampoline and bounce on actual people. Well, if I find anybody in my life who's prepped for a bouncing, I'll have to ask them about that. The closest I've ever had to a bouncing, a bouncing full, bouncing full experience on it with another human was by my father. Actually, when I was younger, we would crack his back by um, just kind of, just kind of jump on his back. We would pop, we would hop on Pop's back to make his back feel better. And like technically, that was bouncing. I'd say that was technically bouncing, honestly. Although it didn't have the same, didn't have the same thing to it. I definitely, I don't know whether I was bouncing on my father with full force or not. Oh, I need Coop, Koopa coop for that guy. There's another character that we'll find out about soon enough. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my title ability, okay? I might be able to look up some useful info that'll help us on our adventure. Alright, dude. I am exhausted. Dude, you really want to get behind this fence, don't you? Well, I'm not gonna let you. I'm gonna heal myself first. I got plenty of mushrooms. There we go. Heal myself on up. And then I'll jump on you. Right? That's how we do it. Bounce. Bounce. Nope, can't bounce over that. Bounce. Hop on top of Pop to Pop Pop's back. <laughs> yes, that's the idea at least. And uh, I think it worked. My father is still standing to this day, which is which is a good thing. Although he could probably use with some a little more uh, physical therapy, honestly. Let's see. If I can if I could bonk you properly. Nice. I bonked you properly, which means I can hammer you on down. Take you down to Hammer Town. Right? Yeah? Anyway, that's not very... Hammer Town is a very cool place. It's all about Petalburg. Nice counter there, bud. Nice counter. Now let's give you a little bonk. And that's it! That's how we play the game, dude! That's what happens when you try to mess on my parade like that. You'll die. I will rupture you. Speaking of rupturing, my level cap just ruptured, and now I'm at level 2. That was such a weird way to put it. I don't have many badges right now, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my HP. Because I tend to be getting rather low on HP a little too often now, so that's what we'll do first. There's probably some strategy to be had about what to upgrade first and whatnot, but eh, this is free form. We'll keep with it. Little pig, little pig, I'm coming in. 
The first little pig, this little piggy built his house out of grass, and lo and behold, he we smoked his ass because grass was not a very good means of protecting your abode. Ooh, there's some frame droppage. I see that. Nice. <laughs> consumption! Consumption! That sentence made me cringe, I feel. What we like to do around here is to offer a wide variety of different sentences for your perusal, whether they be good sentences, bad sentences, questionable sentences, or suggestive sentences. We've got them all here, and none are particularly off limits, except for those that kind of, you know, make fun of certain marginalized groups of people, racial slurs and stuff like that. We try to avoid things like that. And anything that's like phobic in any way, I don't really like that. That's not very cool. That's not very cash money. Things of that sort will be messed with, met with furious resistance. Or at least a side glare. Hey, a mystery. I like some of those. I'm not, I don't know if I really trust this whole mystery thing, but uh, we'll see. I distinctly remember, well, see, the thing that I remember most about this game was the whole cooking system and how you can make different recipes with various items that you found, and I loved that. I think that was one of my favorite parts of this game, was to be able to take the items that you found around the world and combine them together into other items, which is probably the first inklings of me really being a fan of, like, crafting games, because that stuff is totally up my alley. Welcome to the Travelers. Oh, well, where are you, ask? Well, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yippity, once, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. Did you mention hooktail? Did you mention a name? I don't recall mentioning a name. So it's called hooktail, huh? Hmm, scary name. Pfft. So anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? Well, let's quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Well, no, no. Can't say I have. Sorry about that. Um, I want to speak with the mayor, though. He's, he's old. He's, like, really old. Uh, as such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Coopers of his age are, uh, really smart, I guess. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. A pink house. Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Thanks for the offhanded compliment, I guess, about the town and its folks and whatnot. Oh, I'm conflicted. Welcome to... I think it's Petalburg. I think that's the name that they called it. Welcome to Petalburg, I think. It's a... I don't know. It's it's a burg in Petal Meadows. It's, it's a likely... It's a likely name. What's up, dude? Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, no? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not you, Monsieur Masters. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dullard. Come away with moi. Uh, ew, are you kidding? Ew, nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, Buzz, of the dork. Ugh, ew, sacre bleu. Such a brutal honesty. Such a sharp tongue. I love it. But I shall retreat for now. You change your mind, Cherie. Come find me. What a total sleaze. Go somewhere else, Mario. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. I'll talk to this dude who looks like he's about to blow up. Hey! I'm General Wait! My mom! I have lost my hopes and dreams! I live in solitude! Always! Must apologize, but I ask you leave me alone! Okay. I will leave you alone then. How about you? You have a lot of pictures of my princess on your wall. Maybe he's a fanboy. Maybe I'm a fanboy too. <laughs> Hey, uh, come on, come on, come on, I guess, uh, I guess the door's open. Uh, Hooktail? Oh, yeah, you're, you're the top of the, top of your old castle, uh, beyond this hammock. Uh, hammock. Have you ever heard the rumors? I say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but not a one has returned. So, what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? I'm terrified myself, that's why I have these pictures of the princess to make me feel less afraid of my surroundings. Wait, where are you going? Come back. I'll let this dude hang on his own. What's up, bro? You like, you look nice. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air. Absolutely delicious. Uh, but this foul hooktail. It's made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad? Very sad. Nobody's got fortunes around here, unfortunately. 
No fortunes for these peoples. Hello, young Toad Scout troop. Hey, hey, it's us, the Happy Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3. This village is famous for its clear water, clean air, and one more thing. That big, bad hooktail. We can't wait to see it. That sounds like you're asking for trouble, but honestly, I respect the ambition of the young people. I'm technically still a young person, but why would I ever refer to myself in the third person as a young person? That just seems a little old of me to do. Sup, dude? Hey, eh? What's that? Someone there? Who is it? Oh, what do you want from me? Oh, I know. You're thieves! Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa? Despicable. Oh, no, 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 no. No, never. Go on. Do what you will. I'm open for it. I've lived a terrible, terrible existence. Do as you please. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. I've got nothing. No fanciful pictures of princesses like the weirdo who lives next door. Dropped on his head as a, strapped on his shell as a child. Oh, well, I guess I have a little money. So here, take it. Your friends and my antique shell too. Just leave the photos of me and Mrs. Can't do without those memories. Dude. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story then? Oh, wait. You folks looking for crystal stars? I can see it written all over your young girl faces there. Do you... Does a morbid llama want to go to Wawa for snacks? Dude, if you're going to Wawa for snacks, nothing slaps like, um... Like, uh... Oh, my God. It's, a, it's one of their sandwiches. I can't remember which sandwich. No, we know what? Wawa is valid. However, nothing slaps at this hour more than seven taquitos from 7-Eleven. Are they good? No, but it just like fits the vibe, you know? That's what reminds me of my college days. Well, why don't- Last year. Yes, my college years were last year. You're absolutely right, dearest. But man, can't I reminisce? No. <laughs> well, why don't you pipe up before you idiot? Before you idiot, idiot? Why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? You idiot? That's what I'm calling you. Idiot. That's what you are. Idiot, digit, plidget, widget. We're just wasting time here. I could be going to 7-Eleven and grab myself some taquitos that somebody else has chewed for me because I have no gums left. The crystal stars, you see, were hu you're hunting. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What did, what did I hear about those dang things again? Stars of crystal? Ah, got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. It's this enormous, ornery dragon. It's folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? I may have heard the name. But have you heard of Insomnia Cookies? Oh, yes. Oh, I most definitely heard of Insomnia Cookies. There were many a night when, um, you know, let's just say I was a little intoxicated at 2.30 in the morning, making my way to 7-Eleven for taquitos, and literally right across the street from 7-Eleven was an Insomnia Cookies. And... There, there's been at least one occasion, or two, or three, or multiple, where I would go to Insomnia Cookies expecting to get a cookie, and I'd find a box in my fridge in the morning because I bought more than just one cookie. Because how could you not buy just one cookie? Or how could you not buy more than one cookie? Well, Hooktail's brutal flyby snackings have all of us on pins and needles. So, are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? Yeah, you got it. That's what I'm doing. This does sound promising. Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? Definitely didn't say that. What an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. Yep, good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Maria? Mario. Murphy? Ah, that's a fine name. Yes, fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. It's Mario. My the name is Mario. It's Mario. You can you can call me Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> if you're intent if you're intent on going to Hookdale's castle, find the secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you need stone keys to use that pipe. The keys are somewhere in Schwank Fortress, just past the village. Go get them first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, hey, Murphy, get going. Take care of that Hookdale monster. I will try my damnedest, sir, to take care of old Hooky over there, playing Hooky, you know? Hey, girl. Oh, hello there. My name is Koopy Koo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. 
If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monstrous hooktail. Oh! If only Coops were as brave as you. But he's not. He's a sniveling little brat. Not really. This is Coops, our secondary uh, uh, party member. <sighs> What'd you say? You mean you're actually going to Hooktail's castle? I can't believe you dare challenge that behemoth. It eats people. Often. <laughs> um, it's really none of my business, but it's one scary dragon. And that's no lie. Seriously. I, I feel like I'd have my whole body ripped to pieces if I tried to fight that hooky, hooky Hooktail. I got an email. I have email. I forgot about email. You got an email. As you travel, you may receive an email from people you've met on your journey. You can read these emails on your mailbox SP, like a Game Boy SP, but more mailboxy. Press the start pause to access the menu and check your email. You'll find other important things on your gear screen. Check. Uh, gear. Important. Mailbox. Frankly, email. Hello, Mario. Working hard. Professor Frankly here in e-form. It's highly unlikely you'll receive emails like this while you're on your journey, so check your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that. I, I hope it all goes well for you. And I, I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars. Totally not in it for my own benefit and research. Professor Frankly, this is me throwing shit away in the trash can. You should check it every once in a while if you know what's best for you. Direct mail verification. Dear Mr. Mario! Thanks for registering with Rogueport Direct Mail Service. Your kind friend, Mr. Frankly, referred you to us. Our direct mail service will provide you with regular, timely news updates. We hope you enjoy our service. Asterix, asterix, asterisk, 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 asterisk. Published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. Asterix, asterix, asterisk, 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 asterisk. All right, dude, let me through. An old stronghold called Schwang Fortress lies ahead. A stone creature lives there. At least... It might live there. This gate is to keep it out. My job, guarding the gate. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. I've opened the gate for you. Careful not to get thwomped on out there. <laughs> um, excuse me. Uh, beg your pardon. Excuse me a moment, please. Hi there. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how do I begin? My name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. So anyway, I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Well, um, uh, oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good, good, goodbye. Do you want Do I want that non? I'll take the non. And is pawning off bread wait, on me. Wait, wait, wait. Me oh, okay. She's gonna cook the non for me. Can you get um? Out of curiosity, do you know where my water bottle went? Other side. It's okay. I'll go grab it. Hold for one moment. I'm gonna go grab my water bottle. I realize I didn't have my water with me. Just... You must hydrate or dehydrate. Where my water bottle at? Oh my god! I have to climb over my couch. There it is. Oh, it's on the ground. I got it. It was right next to my liquor bottles. Goodness forbid I get a little confused. Could you imagine if I mistook my water bottle for vodka or something like that? That's definitely just water. <laughs> it's definitely just water! Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. Goombella, you gotta be more understanding of this man's disposition. He's probably socially awkward and doesn't mean it that way. Just, just chill, dude. Oh, I love this theme. I remember this theme so well. I think, oh, I love this. Uh, but battle times. Of course, the enemy's gotta totally mess up all of my fun. But that's just how it has to be. Our last, we can't all be sunshine and rainbows all the time. Can't possibly be. Let's power smash this guy. And get you out of here. Who needs flower points when you can have style points? Um, but you're not yet ready yet, so that's fine. I recall. I just remember you have to knock those guys over first. Thank you, dearest. I appreciate it. Non. It's bread and flat and tasty. And really, really tough. 
But it's good. I'm only slightly freezer burnt. It is not. I, I'm inclined to think it is. It hasn't been in a freezer. <laughs> well, it tastes like freezer. All but like in a good way. It's my non. You can't take it from me. I will not let Anna take my non from me. Not after she so gracefully gave it to me. Is this the garlic non? Yeah. I can taste the garlic. I like the garlic. The garlic is very tasty. It's my inner Italian heritage. All right, dude. You could have been a little more cool with that, honestly. And my... And who I was talking to was naturally myself because I was the one who didn't land the proper key hits. Oh. Mmm. Non. There's nothing like it. It is a little tough, though. I will say that. How old is this non anyway, dear? I made it for Mother's Day. Well, whenever Mother's Day was, today is May 25th. So however long ago Mother's Day was. I think it was a while ago. Definitely feels like a beginning of the month thing. The 14th. Was it the 14th? The 15th. No, 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 no. It was the week before that. It was the first week of May. Oh, I have a calendar hey. behind me. I can just check my calendar. Oh, Thank you, dearest. Thank you so much for the night. I really appreciate it. I'll just buy you more bread. What's that? It's Dave's Killer Bread. Mm. Dave's Killer Bread as well. Wait, you said you bought some for me? Yeah. Oh my god! Wait, where did you go to the store? Oh, I didn't realize that. Thank you, dearest. Cookies, animal crackers, the weird chocolate bit things, peppers, huh. and asparagus. Honestly, I hadn't noticed. I didn't index on that, unfortunately. I'm so sorry, I didn't index on that. By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep my headphones a little a little open just so I can hear what you're saying. The uh, the party hats make it a little difficult a little difficult to move around oh that was an interesting visual glitch there hmm I'll have to look into that but no new cheese no no new cheese Anna was under the impression that the cheese we had was new enough but alas it was not and now it's moldy there's probably parts of it that aren't moldy though do you want me to go into the trash nah when you put it that way I don't think she should go in the trash for it Considering the whole front half was molded, I don't oh. want to touch it. Oh, really? Oh, it was bad moldy. I don't think that's a recoverable kind of mold, unfortunately. Mm -mm. Nope. Just won't open. wonder what we should do. Maybe we should ask these stone gentlemen here. Hey, dude. Ah, ah, ah. I'm going to hit you with my hammer. Wacky stick. Wacky stick. Oh, I was in the wrong direction. Hi there, pal. I'm gonna hit you with my wacky stick. No more hammer? Would that be okay? What, pal? Nope. Needs to be harder than that. Whoops! Oopsie doopsie. Alright, well, might as well tattle, because I can't bounce on them. Stylish. That's a bald cleft. Basically a rock monster with a swarthy looking face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Max HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 2. Yeah, this guy is rock solid. Like my killer abs. Fire doesn't even hurt it. It might be best to attack with, say, a pal block. There's a good thing I found one along the way. Oh, I tried to dodge. I dodged, tried to counterattack that, but it wasn't working. I could pal block. A pal block. Pow. Whoa, pow. Wacka wacka. And they're dead. But will they be more ahead of us? Maybe. Probably. Who knows? Oh my goodness! Oh, I thought there was more. I was so afraid for a moment there. So, so afraid. Time to move on to a less spooky area. Maybe there will be a fun stuff up ahead, like game shows or something. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What's up, on, dude? I struck first. Damn right I did. You know I did. Why wouldn't I strike first? Bounce. Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> Bounce on over, Maxi. <laughs> Yuck. Or something of the sort. I'll just incapacitate all of you, and then I'll take care of you next turn. Easy. Incapacitate your enemies. It's that simple. Just knock them over and knock them prone. If you follow these simple steps, you'll be off on your wave or mass success 
and all the star points you could possibly use for leveling up, breaking through, so to speak. Bounce, bounce, nice and easy. I honestly can't wait for to be able to get into the like the harder fights and whatnot because uh, that's that's what I remember. I remember like spending like just tons of time like grinding for stuff and grind um grinding levels. That's what I meant to say. Um, but also too, one of the things that I'm also thinking about is I remember there being a like an infinite like coliseum type thing. I don't remember what they called it, but it was like a I think it was it had a hundred levels to it maybe. And if you could get if you could fight your way all the way to the bottom. You'd find, like, different bosses and different badges and stuff like that. And although I don't know if I'll get around to that, I don't know if I'll be able to get to that in this playthrough, I hope to be able to do it at some point. I don't exactly know, you know, when I start these playthrough things, I don't exactly know how far I intend on going with things. At the very least, we're going to make it to the end. This is going to be a full playthrough. This is not a one-off. I'm going to keep on going with this until I, at the very least, beat the final boss, um, which is the Shadow Queen in this case. But there's so much of But that's the thing, like... It's tough because there's so many other things to do in these games that it's hard to call, it's hard to call it, like, done. And I'm not, like, I'm not a speedrunner or anything like that. I can't get through the games fast. I get through games at a sluggishly slow pace. Dare I say, agonizingly slow at some points. Just because I'm talking like this and my attention is being split and I lose focus every once in a while. And plus, ah, uh, you know, but it's, it's nice. Yo, Jeff! Thank you! Thank you so much! For bits and the like of it, we have party horns for that occasion. But that's a big old set of bits there. So I'm gonna take a couple different party horns. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... Party horn for every 200, which I realize I almost knocked all of my water over. I broke one of my party horns. That's okay. We're all good here. Jeff? I will. Oh, I got one. That is really difficult to do with all those in my mouth. And it seems that some of them are broken now, but that's okay. That's okay. Thank you. Very much appreciate that. What a kind individual to pop by and throw bits at me all over the place. That's great. Oh, you guys look inviting. Look at you. Okay. 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 Y'all seem friendly. Probably. Right? Should I talk to you? Hey. You know, your arrows kind of look like hearts. Oh, hi there. I'm gonna whack you with my... Just kidding, then. That's fine. I'm not gonna whack you with anything, then. Yo, Luigi! How you doing down there, buddy? Doing all right? You enjoying the, enjoying the show? Hey, watch this. Oh, shit. Forgot about that. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna need to... I need to tattle on that. I don't remember. I'm not remembering now. Boop, boop. Stylish. That's a bristle. Totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. Max HP is 2, tech is 1, defense is 4, and they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will totally pop out, so since you can't jump on it or use your hammer, you'd better use an item. But, but I don't have an item for that. But you know what I do have? A potential new party member who might be waiting outside? Let's try summon a scary spirit to chase some enemies away. I could try the mystery. Let's see what I... I Maybe, nah, I'm gonna do the mystery. Why not? It's a mystery. Who knows what'll happen? Pow block, pow, 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 maybe, maybe, electric shock? Fire flower, they're impervious to fire. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, that's what we get for taking a mystery. All right, we can, we can be out of here then. There's no way for me to do this. I gotta get out of here. Run away! Run away, run away, run away, run away! We'll find another solution for this at some point. I gotta go get myself an item, apparently. You have an audience. I do have an audience, but they weren't doing anything for me. I can go get myself a... Th um, actually, I did have a badge that I hadn't equipped it yet. See that badge? Put close call on when Mario's in danger. It sometimes causes enemies. Man, ow! Equip that for now. Now, if I could only take my audience and throw them at the enemies... Or maybe have some of my some of my audience just throw themselves at them for me. Man, wouldn't that be delightful? But nah. I'll go get back and get myself an item. Or maybe talk to the coop dude. I think they probably sell pal blocks here. They must. I have money, don't I? Wasn't there a shop? There's probably a shop. 
I'll go stock up on some things anyway. I wouldn't say that I'm particularly properly prepared for the entirety of this journey ahead of us, now that I know. And plus, it's a good sense to save. Oh, Toad, I didn't mean to cut you off. Here, let's chat for a moment. You saw a hook tail on your way here? Are you sure? Big old dragon, tail like a hook? Wow, you're super duper lucky it didn't see you. I'm not even kidding with you. If it didn't, if it didn't seen you, I'm sure it would have gobbled you up like an after dinner mint. It must have been stuffed or thought you looked gross. At any rate, you were lucky. I'm the lucky one here. Yeah, you're the lucky one. You have perpetual, you have perpetual head protection. Which, at least according to one of my neighbors down the street, I should always be wearing a hat. Although, it's not always convenient for me to wear hats. I just, I just don't, I don't need to all the time. Nice. Thank you for your patronage, series. Appreciate that. Anyway, let's head on back. Head on back to the big ol' spiny dudes. Big ol' spiny dudes, indeed. I think this reminds me of moments I had when I was younger playing games like Luigi's Mansion, where you come to a certain point in the game and you don't exactly know how to properly proceed, so you just kind of get stuck in one spot doing the same thing over and over again. My brother and I, when we first played Luigi's Mansion, in the training room, we didn't know that you were supposed to suck up the ghosts. We thought that you were just supposed to just shine a light on them. So we never actually made it past the training room for a long while. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't put it past me thinking that... Oh, look, there was a power block in there. I wouldn't put it past me to think that potentially there was a time where I would sit here with this, not reading the instructions by our good Goombella, and just kind of sit here dying and running away and thinking like, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. The guy wearing party hats says he doesn't like, he doesn't always need to wear hats. That's fair. I, most of the hats that I have are party hats, baseball caps, and fedoras. And honestly, they don't have a proper, pl in my opinion, for my own sanctity and self-safety, I don't think any of those have a place on the streets of Philadelphia. At least, no, I rather, there are, there's at least one person I walked into on the streets who was very, very dapperly dressed. Uh, and he, he was, I was walking with Anna. Actually, Anna and I were looking for apartments. And so we were walking around completely soaked, completely soaked through our clothes. And this gentleman who was very dapperly dressed walks up beside us and just kind of starts shooting the breeze with us. And then he realized, he was like, oh, it was like, ah, oh, I heard it was going to rain. And he turns to look at us and it was like, it was like, oh, I see you already encountered the rain now, didn't you? And we were like, yeah, kinda, but it's drying up a little bit. It was a sunny day, so we wound up drying up a little bit, but my goodness, I am, I'm not a big fan of the rain when I'm gonna get drenched. Cause I like, I, it's just not super duper comfortable to me. Was it a morbid llama that I found? I don't believe that I saw a morbid llama on the streets. It was a very, unless you dress very dapperly. Was it, was it, were you perhaps wearing like a multicolored suit with dreadlocks? Because if you were wearing a multicolored suit and sporting dreadlocks, it very well might have been you. But if not then, well, I suppose that's a certain type of style that we might all be able to get behind one day. A morbid llama lives in Philadelphia. Ooh! What part of Philadelphia? I'm up near the art museum. Somewhere close around those areas. Not too far away from it, but it's within walking- I mean, technically speaking, everywhere is within walking distance for me. I like to, I sometimes walk 40 minutes just to get to work. I usually bike to work. Uh, Anna and I are very avid walkers, runners, and whatnot, so it's fine. I like to walk. Anything's pretty much within walking distance. From the art music, if you're familiar with the local area of Philadelphia, Anna and I one time on a whim to get spices from the store and a frying pan, I think it was, or something like that. It was V8. We got V8. Uh, from the from the, the Walmart down uh, there's a there's like one Walmart in Philadelphia that I can think of in the actual city of Philadelphia. It. What was that, dear? Don't do it again. Oh, we wouldn't do it again. But we walked all the way from the art museum all the way down to the Walmart. It took us hours to do so. Three it was hours down, three hours back. Three hours down, three hours back, according to Dearest. And it was um, was it worth the trip? It was some damn good spices, I'll tell you that much. And uh, Anna got her V8, which is her caffeine kick. So it all worked out for us, honestly. But I wouldn't do the walk again. Uh, Morbid Llama says it depends on the day. Northeast for the most part, then in East Falls, which is not far from the art museum. Nah, that's true, that's true. Pretty cool. For the most part, I work, let's see, we live here in, in um, near the art museum, and then I work over in University City, so I usually make my commute, naturally. You'll find me in one of two places. 
Spicy V8 or original Riesme? Spicy V8. Uh, it's the um, it's the um. Energy peach mango. Peach mango That's V8 energy. Like. Yeah. She honestly so. For, for a while, we would go to the store and we would pick up the V8 energy, um, but eventually we realized we can actually get it cheaper from Amazon and it's more convenient to be delivered. So I think I we subscribed to... Oh, nice. I didn't coupon. Nice. I think we subscribed to... Um, I think we subscribed to the um, the thing on Amazon where you can get it redelivered every couple of weeks or so. We have a huge backlog. We have, I think, six cases. I think we have six cases of V8 energy that Anna hasn't gone through yet, but yeah, you know, she's gonna drink them anyway, so good to have a surplus to that. Just in case she needs an extra kick here or there, then it'll be all good. I'm not supposed Black to have tree. more than one of them. She's not supposed to, but she does sometimes. Shut up. Don't tell me that. Don't steal, says Morbid Llama, or they'll catch me. I will try I will try my hardest not to steal things that I believe belong to somebody else. Now, I will say, if I find stuff on the ground, I will take that. Because they're kind of lost and they need to be found i one time found actually the method by which that i make crushed ice is i whack it with a wrench that i found on the ground on the streets of philadelphia and uh it served me well it didn't have anybody's name on it no if found please call whatever to return so i kept it finders keepers i suppose that's my philosophy on it and i think i also usually usually what i'll try to do too is oftentimes i'll find i, I like to find things i like to find things and pick them up although technically I found a couple of flash drives on the street, SD cards and whatnot, and you're not supposed to plug those into computers. It's a whole cybersecurity type thing. Um, but if I find stuff on it, I try to send it back to the original owner. I actually did that the other day. We were walking around and we found an SD card from some Ocean City parasailing thing, and like it had a bunch of it had a bunch of pictures on it of seemingly a father and a son. And I was like, well, I'll uh, I send the email for the uh, the parasailing service, and I was like, hey. Totally anonymous person here. I found these photos on the ground. You would be the best person to return these photos back to the family that, you know, took them. So, here you go. Did you seriously? Yeah, I did. That's what I do for things like this. Was that the thing we found yesterday? Yeah, yeah, it was the SD card we found. Oh, yeah. Just not in any blue box retailers dealing in hardware. No, no, I wouldn't. No, no, most certainly not. I wouldn't be taking anything from stores. If it has... If it's expected to have a price tag on it, or if it's, spec if it's expected to be paid for, I will not take it. Those are my old days. Those are my rebellious past years of stealing Legos from the Lego store, which at the time I was like, that's not a really big deal. But it's the concept of it all. It's the concept. You don't steal. What, five? I was like, I was like nine or ten years old. Oh. I was, uh, I was yeah, almost double digits. You should have had a conscience. Yes, yeah, I should have had a conscience by then, you're right. Somewhere in Philadelphia, says Sims Jeff, a sad handyman is searching for their lost wrench to this day. <laughs> it's true. And I've got it. So if any of you know a sad handyman in Philadelphia who is missing a wrench, I think it's a three-eighths, five-eighths maybe? It's, it's big, it's fancy, and it makes a great ice crusher. I'll say that. Anyway, time for game show. <laughs> You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. You've come all the way to Schwank Fortress. You must want stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you'll suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean just downright awful. Mm hmm. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? I'll take you on. Game show time. Mm-hmm. Oh, ah, oh, you're in for it now. <laughs> what a good man you are. Oh, thank you. I try my bestest. Although they're not it's not hundred percent good. There's a lot of badness in here. I tr trust me you. Trust yeah, you it's me. Only in your head. It's only in my head, says Anna. Maybe I'm the imposter. Hey, hey ladies and germs, welcome everybody to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz. Perk up those ears. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win. But get three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Death? No, worse. Now, for the first question. What's hidden in this place? Stone keys! Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Oh, you're right. Correct. Very nice. Ah! Well, that's correct. That's totally fine. Um, that question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much much harder so prepare yourself song to question number two what do one mr softener and one flower firefly are cost at the shop in Petalburg? total uh 12. Uh... <laughs> 
Wrong, wrong, it's absolutely wrong, you fools! Uh, rem remember, if you get three wrong, you're going to suffer like you wouldn't believe. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears> hmm. <throat> Don't let the pressure get to you, really. Um, moving on, uh, question number three. Why is he 3D? Because he can be. What is the name of the mayor of Petalburg? Croup? It's definitely not Couscous. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Sounds right to me. Coops, Croops, Croops. Ah! That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much, much harder. So prepare yourself. Okay, we're not done yet here, folks. Question number four. Tell me now, where is the Crystal Star? It's in Cooktail Castle, silly. <gasps> that question was too easy, but it only gets harder. I know I've said this multiple times before, but trust you me. I'm not kidding. So prepare yourself. Are you ready for the diabolical question number five? How can one get from Petal Meadows to Rogueport? Boat across the sea, only by air, go through a pipe, race at a cart, go through a pipe. Anna's fixing my party hats. No, he's gonna ruin them. Ah! Tell me you didn't just get your fourth right answer, it can't be true! That's it, that's it! I'm making the rest of these near impossible! Get ready for brain pain! On to question six. Which of the following creatures have hands? Koopa Troopas, Goombas, Clefs, Fuzzies, Koopa Troopas, they have hands. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? I don't even know how we got this party hat on. No! Uh, that's right! You correctly answered five questions. I... I don't believe it. Oh well. Guess I lose. And you win. Uh, <gasps> oh! Where'd it go? Trying to readjust my How headset for a dare moment. You. So very angry! I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through. Stupid rules. Hate, hate the rules. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby. Get in the pipe now. <laughs> Thank you for readjusting me, dear. There you go. Save all game progress up to this point. I think I will. I can't just not save my game progress after a spectacle like that. Anyways. So this is what I'll think I'll do. It's getting a little late around here. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to make my way all the way up to Hooktail Castle. That's probably what we'll call it for this evening. Because we're getting a little late over here. That's not too bad. Alright, that's in here. Stompy Boots. Ooh, these water effects are really hampering. Ooh, man, look at that. Interesting. Oh yeah, that is that is a little tough there. Look at that! I found my first hit, my first real big hiccup in this emulation. It's the water. The water physics are really getting there. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that there. Here we go. Got a coin? I'll take it. Let's go. Boop, boop. Little spiky things. Are you one of the letters or symbols in LGBTQIA+? Yes, I am. Would you like to know which one? I would. Well, technically speaking, it's not really a letter in there, but there is a plus in there. I am pansexual, if we have to ask. Although, it's not technically a letter in there, but I guess that goes under the queer category, ally, or anything like that. In general, we're mostly acceptance around here. It's a means to let people know that, you know, it's a place for you to be who you want to be, no matter what your sexuality is or anything like that. Ally, lesbian, queer, bisexual, pansexual, all that sexual, non-sexual, that's fine. Straight's cool too. Heterosexual is totally valid. I, for one, am in a heterosexual relationship, so if I were to say, y'all straight people get out of here, I'd, I'd just be kind of weird, you know? Okay, Kara, let's go. All right, let's go. Wait, Anna, get out of here. <laughs> My fiance's behind me. Uh, I, I can't just make her leave. That'd be so rude of me. She lives here with me. She basically co-signed on me with Elise, so. Actually, no, we're actually co- we're co-tenants here. We're co- we're co-tenants. We're not- we're not co-signers or anything like that. We're co-tenants. We're co- we're cohabitants. Anyway, you grabbed a coin! I didn't grab the coin, oh no! Oh my god, this is- Oh, this is struggling. I... I'm gonna figure this out next time. I'm gonna try to figure that these water, um, these water physics and why they're acting a little funky. They're very intensive. That's the fun thing about the- I guess the fun thing? The not so fun thing? You never know what might happen with the emulation. I don't exactly know how well my computer was gonna handle it, but I'll take it. 
Oof, I wasn't able to dodge that one. Thank you, thank you for the heart. I appreciate that. Take, take, thank you, thank you. Attack. Attack you, attack you, attack you. All right, let's go. Uh, bonk. Give him the bonk. One of the things very interesting about this character is this, or, um, these enemies is the sounds that they make as they just kind of exist. I find it really interesting that their sound is like a, a wow. Like, I'm not sure if you could hear that in the capture, but like the, the sound they make is like a wow, wow. It's just very interesting to me. Hey, welcome to the party, biased news story. Biased news story, I'll take that. Technically, are any news story these days not necessarily biased yeah. in their own special way? I accept it. Thank you, dearest, for helping me put up another party hat on my head. This one's for you, biased news story. And for all the unbiased news stories out there, or those who claim that they're unbiased, although they probably actually are. Ah, this is, ooh, Sunstone. All right, who wants it? Come and get it. <laughs> hey, can't flee this one. All right, dude. Hello, the little wobblies. Little, little spiky dudes. How much damage can I do like this? Uh, they think they have four. Hey, you know what? There's a lot of them. Might as well tattle. Might as well take a moment to tattle on them. I'm telling on you. Nice. That's a fuzzy. What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine. Whoa. I actually had coffee today. I had caffeine. NT. I like caffeine. Max HP is three, attack is one, defense is zero. I do like talking about coffee, come to think of it. Those things suck up your HP and use it to replenish their own. Isn't that the worst? Don't those little suckers just really grind your gears? I mean, ew, doesn't that just like sound totally gross? Kinda. Anyway, guard against them by pressing A the moment they release you. Uh, the timing is pretty hard to master, so uh, practice up. These things really suck HP. Okay, timing it. Ah, oh, I tried it, but I didn't get it. Oh well. Oh, you wouldn't do the fire flower on me, would you? Oh, those little bloop bloops never stood a chance. It didn't. I actually don't think it worked. Did I get hurt by that? I don't think I did. Interesting. Oh my goodness. No, stop. Stop. Enough. Oh, nice. I dodged it. All right. I know when to do it now. I know how to protect myself further. All right. Let's do the, the hammer's easy. Hammer's easy. It's not like I could possibly fail with it, so I'll take it. All right, let's go. Jackpot! 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 Not so jackpot. That's okay. All right, let's try a little bounce. Do a little bounce on him. Bouncy, bouncy, stylish. I don't remember how to do the stylish on that one. Nice! And now that I... I know! I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I spent my entire Super... Uh, my entire Paper Mario... Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door career not realizing that you could counterattack. I had literally no idea. I didn't know that you could counter, you could guard with one and counter with the other. I had no idea. So the fact that I can deal back damage to these enemies is totally new to me. It pays to pay attention. Who knew? All right, you are, I will make quick work of you. Oh, I did not do that very well. I said quick work. I was wrong, time to kill you. With the power of my smasher. Oh, that wasn't cool. I spoke too soon. Well, with the power of my very hard mushroomy head, I'll destroy you. But more so than that, let's try to do some more, try to get some level up here. Oops. Spill a little water. All right, let's do, let's do it. I would like more flower points so I can use more um, spiky attacks. And there will be more badges along the way. Probably. All right, who wants it? Let's get a move on. Now I gotta go to the other side, I think. This is how it works. Oh, come along now. Sims Jeff can't even imagine the last time they were destroyed by a mushroomy head. Honestly, neither can I. Now I can remember the last time that, it's, uh, that I completely, utterly destroyed a mushroomy head. That was previously. That was about an hour ago. I was fighting some Goombas. All right, I'm like, whoa, whoa, I was trying to eat my arm. Will you not let me eat a snack there, dude? Hey, well, look at all those mushroomy heads in the audience. Incredible. Probably a con story waiting to happen. A con story? Oh, goodness. I don't want to know anything about a con story. 
I do not want to be seeing any mushroomy heads at a convention. No, thank you. I'm not a fan of that. Although, same. <laughs> All right. Let's take care of this. <laughs> oh my. Damn it. I can't do things cool anymore. I'm not as stylish as I want to be. All right, you get out of here. The fanfares in this game are just absolutely memorable. Gosh, I think... Oh, you know what I just noticed, actually? There's a very... Aside from the whole frame rate dropping thing, there is a very interesting visual glitch going on with, um, with Mario in front of the water. It's actually really... I'll point it out when we exit the battle. Um, if I survive, that is. Oh! No, no, that's not preferable. No, why would you make me go to sleep? Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no. Now I'm sleeping on a job. It takes time for the sleepiness to wear off. Wake me up. Wake me up! Wake me up. Can't wake up! Oh my god. Alright, but what if, what if I hit you with a little bit of... This! Oh, and I forgot. If I do the... If I click the A button while I'm in the air, I can do a little stylish there, too. Nice! One Damagi. Two Damagi? Oh, I missed it on that one. That's okay. I think I'm getting a little bit better. I'm kind of... Getting the swang of things. I'm really glad that that thing woke Mario up. Otherwise, this may be a little less fun. Oh, I missed it too. I'm trying, trying my best this tier. But honestly, you know, sometimes you just gotta settle. Just gotta settle with what you got. That's just setting me up for the next. Oh no! Don't suck my. No! Don't suck my. No! Don't. No! Why would you suck me like that? Oh, I'm gonna hit you with a hammer. Oh, you've sucked me one too many times. I'm gonna. I'm gonna smash you. Smash, smash, oh, smashy, smashy. That's what you get when you tease me like that. Don't really appreciate it. You'll have to die. So yeah, it's interesting. There's actually a, oh, actually that might just be a, that might not be a visual glitch. Or maybe it is. Yeah, there's like a surrounding Mario and Goombella. They have their own like little pixely wavy effect. And I don't think that's supposed to happen. Interesting. I think what I could probably do is I could probably cut down the um, the graphics settings a little bit and it would probably make things a little less bad, but I don't think we'll be experiencing the water thing for very much longer, so I'm not going to worry about it. So long as so long as y'all will sit through the journey with me, I think I think we'll be okay. One day, one day at some point, I will definitely get better hardware. I know on my list of upgrades for my computer is a better processor. That's about $250. A better, uh, some more RAM, uh, that's about that hundred-ish dollars. Um, a GPU, a, a better, better GPU would be, uh, no, actually, before the GPU, I definitely need a better power supply. Um, my power supply is not as power supply powerful as it probably should be for the, the setup that I currently have here. Um, but that would be, that'd be a little costly, too. It's all on the list. I know exactly what I need to get for it and exactly how much it costs and where to find it, but, eh, just... Money's tight, yo. I just signed on for a new apartment, actually. Anna and I are moving. Oh my god, that is gonna be so annoying. Oh, that'll be interesting! This will be one of those playthroughs that switches locations. That'll be cool. That's new and exciting. I actually started streaming in this apartment. So every other, I think every other stream so far, actually, no, no, no. The first place that I streamed was actually not in this apartment. The first place was at my parents' house. In my younger brother's room. I remember. The wall, the wall is a lot bluer there than it is here. Hey, bingo! Nice. Come on in, everybody. Come watch the fight. Mario gets his ass kicked, or not? In this case, not. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on whose side you're on. All right. Well, we got both of those things. Time to. Get Daddle on out of here. And we'll just hang through the reduced frame rate just a little bit longer. We'll be out of here before you know it. Don't worry. It is kind of cool. I don't know. It is kind of cool in a way. Oh, my party hats are falling. Oh. 
Nyark? Hey, you suspicious types, this is our place, and coming in here is rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers, if you want a warm welcome to bed. Now I locked your new head. He's gonna lunch on my head. Ouch. I don't like the feeling of fangs biting into my scalp. Can't flee this one. Now, I feel like... I don't know if this matters at all, but when I was younger, I for some reason loved being able to fill up the, um... Fill up the tattle book with the enemy with the information of all different enemies. I'm not as obsessed with that now, but I love I, I hated going through battles and not being able to tattle on them. Because I was like, no, then it won't be in my book afterwards. And I don't know, I don't remember if you get any benefit for filling up the tattle book. But if you do, then maybe we'll try that this time. I don't know. That's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, those are super rare. I'm serious. Wow. Max HP is 10, attack is one, defense is zero. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder, though, how does this thing hide? Look at it. It's so gaudy. Completion completionism thing. Nah, not me. If I, Dude, I don't even know if I could even 100% a game. I think the only game that I ever 100%ed was, uh, I, I, I want to say it was Mar uh, Sonic Generations on the Xbox 360. I got, and by 100%, I mean I got every single achievement. Maybe. Although, for some reason, my Xbox Live account does not have any record of that, so I don't know what happened. I thought I did, though. Meow! Hey! Oh! You chumps are tougher than you look! But I'm not through yet! Everyone, get him! Go get him, dude. Oh, that's not very cash money at all now, ain't it? Alright. Hi there, mob. Don't do it! Don't do it! Counterattack! 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 Counterattack? Just be careful, Cameron. Or, or don't be careful. Or just kill me. Oh my god, thank god. I feel like that would have killed me. Don't do it. Uh, uh, mushroom, uh, Mario. Do that thing where you, like, eat shrooms, dude. Do that thing where you eat shrooms, bro. Alright, go get him. Um, I will take that. Please, go ahead. Throw that at me. Yeah, I'll take that. I take. We most certainly take those. We most certainly do. I am gonna... I use a pow block. I don't know exactly how much it'll do, but it should hit everybody, maybe. What pow? Eh, it did too. That's that's fine, I guess. Oh, I should have dodged that, but I didn't. Because I used the pow block. Oh, dear. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, my goodness gracious. I didn't dodge a single one of those. I dodged that one, though. That's good. That's good. Uh, I would recommend you use an item on yourself. I only have... I got two mushrooms. Use some fire flowers. Attacks all enemies. I like attacking all enemies. If I kill the if I kill the spiky guy, I don't remember if it ends the fight or not. But a fire flower should work. <laughs> nice. All right, you're out of here. We killed him. Peace. We did it, everyone. Congratu congratulations, congratulations. We killed the yellow guy. Yar, you got me. Bye, everybody. Gonna waddle on away. And then they waddled away. I kind of bounced away, actually. All right, P <laughs> they're kind of still bouncing off screen. All right, time to get out of Lagville. I don't need to put up with that anymore. Back to the regular. Hoorah, hoorah indeed. All right, I'm gonna make my way over to Hooktail Castle. There will be cutscenes and whatnot, I think, along the way, people to talk to and whatnot, and that'll be probably the last thing that we do for this evening. This has been, I am really, really, really excited about continuing this. This is really fun so far. This has been excellent. Aside from everything else, this has been an excellent stream too so far, and that's not because of me, everyone. That's because of y'all. So thank you for making this a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday night. It's been it's been great. New folks are coming along, old folks as well. Just fun times all around. I I thank you all for that. I appreciate it very much. So, but onward to the castle. Onwards to fighting this big old dragon dude, and uh, uh, maybe a new party member. Definitely a new party member. Maybe not now, but a little bit later. Alright, dude, I really didn't want to deal with you. I really did not. I did not hit her. I did not. Now he's just showing off. Which I kind of was. Honestly, whenever you have the moment to flaunt your stuff like that, you might as well. Oh, that was unfortunate for you. <laughs> that was unfortunate for you and totally not main character Mario. Oh my god, one of my party heads fell off. I gotta... Put that back on. Oh, where are you? There we go. We'll put it right there. Kind of hanging in front of my face for a little bit. 
That's chill. Give me my coins. Somebody once upon a time said, grab the coins. You'll need the coins. I get I dig it. Some of the party hats that dangling are saying, dude, we're ready to go home. <laughs> It's so fun. Honestly, one of the most satisfying parts about these streams where the when the party hats just come on in dozens is the fact. Whoa. <laughs> that one just fell right off. I don't think that one's making it back. But it's just the whole, it's like this, it, I get this immense sense of like satisfaction and accomplishment when like I take them off at the end of the night. It's, it brings me such joy. It like, it like, it puts a smile on my face. Like, if the smile, if the smile right now isn't already evident, the smile that happens after the cameras go off and the stream ends is like, it's, it's immense. And it, it's great. Okay. I need to go talk to a man about a sun and moonstone. That's what I need to do. And probably heal a little bit. I should probably go heal for the night. Yeah. You got a place to stay? This good sir is an inn. Rooms are five coins per night. Care to stay a night? I'll take me a rest. Sir, you appear to have an inn coupon. Would you like to use it? No, thank you. I'd rather use it on the more expensive inns. Very good. Enjoy your rest. Thanks, girl. Appreciate you. Now, I don't exactly remember which inns actually have, like, stuff on them. Like, uh, when you wake up and there's, like, a snack on the, tra on the tray. It's apparently not this one. Did you sleep well, sir? Do come back soon. But, like, some inns, if you stay the night you will have, like, an item waiting for you when you wake up in the morning. I don't remember which items those are, but they happen. Um, excuse me. Hey, it's me again. It's Mario, right? Uh, look, I... Uh, um... See, see, the thing is, I, I've been waiting here in the hope of getting to speak with you. I, I have to ask you something. And, and you can say no, but I'm gonna throw it out there. Um... See... see I, I was I was wondering, would you? Oh, don't oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail, please! I'm begging you. Dude, whoa. Sorry about that. I see, my dad. He went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. Oof! <laughs> Mario tilts his head slightly into the Z direction. I miss him, of course. But I miss him badly. But like, this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well. No, that's... it's not true. Revenge. Revenge is part of it, I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what Dad started. For his sake. For everyone's sake. Alright, dude! Alright. Man, this is... this is embarrassing. Uh, see, a a everyone always says I'm a, a, a crybaby, a, a weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, I, I won't be those things. I'll be strong. Like my dad. Mm. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. Nah, dude, not in my... Of course, man. For real? No kidding? Thanks. Thank you so much. You you won't regret this. And now we have Koops. Koops has joined your party. You know, you look mighty tasty for a turtle. Coop's abilities, a primer. Press X to shoot at his shell. Use it to retrieve distant items and hit switches. Like this. Totally. Nice. If you hold X, you can hold his shell in one place after shooting it. That was something I struggled with as a child. I, like, did not realize that you could do this, and I realized that it was a kind of crucial part of the gameplay. After holding his shell in place, release X to fire the shell past Mario and attack. Nice. You can even hold Koop's shell in place, move Mario, and then release the shell. I can do that. Go for it. Move him around. Can I join your party? You can join your party. Y Whoa, words. Yes. The answer is yes. You may. Absolutely. Don't let me make you think that you can't join the party. Don't let anybody here think that you make you think that you can't join the party. You can join the party if you want to. You don't even need to bring a gift. It's not that kind of party. You can even come alone. There's plenty of people to pal around with. Or at least... Nay, I, I'm at least here. And is here sometimes, too. So remember, hold X to shoot the shell out and hold it in one place. In battle, Koops can fight by your side, striking foes with his main move, the Shell Toss. He can also strike all ground-bound enemies in one attack with his Power Shell. To swap your partner in the field, press Start, Pause, go to the Party menu. He waves so nicely. I love this guy. Okay, Mario, let's get going. All right, dude. 
goops. It's the girl, I think, right? Is it the girl or the... It is the goop girl. Oh, golly. Um, hi, it's... Hi, hi, Koopy. Uh, Koopy Koo. Did, did, uh, did you overhear the, all that? Well, part of it. Koops, I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail. But you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. It'll eat you up. I imagine that this woman says that with a smile on her face. I know, Koopy Koo, but I, I want to be tougher for you. So I have to do this. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's... It's stupid. So what if you're timid? It's sort of a crybaby. I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you. So don't go. Sorry, Koopy Koo. I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man. Fine. Ignore me. I'm off. Stubborn Koopa. I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. But you really didn't have to abuse me like that. I swear to you, I'll come back to you a stronger Koopa. Next time that you shell toss me, I'll strike back with no mercy. Oh, Mario, that's... that's that, I guess. No turning back! Hooktail's castle awaits! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come along there, Koopy! Let's go party. Strike him! Or not, that's fine. We're, um... No, get him. I struck first. Go get him, Koopity Doopity. Boop. Boop. So I'm gonna attack with Mario first, get that other guy on the ground, and then Koops is gonna rail on this dude. Right, right, Koops, that's what you do. Right, Power Shell? Power Shell! And here we go. I don't remember how to stylish on that one, but they're all dead and all gone. Very easy. I just so love it when the enemies all come down at once. Excellent. Love to see them all fall at the same time. Alright, oh, don't do that. Oh, come on now. Just get the get the badge. Get the badge, get the badge, get the badge, get the badge. Get him. Get him. Dink. You got the happy heart. Slowly and automatically restore HP during battle. That sounds lovely. I kind of like that idea. Oh, badges was in the other menu. Oh, interesting. There we go. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. The side? There we go. Happy Heart is two? I like that. Let's do Happy Heart. Actually, let's do Multi Bounce. I, I like abilities more so than anything like that. The way Koopy Koo moves, I'd take her on the team. Oh, absolutely. Honestly, I feel like she's got uh, better hits than Koops does, but alas, we're stuck with this character for now, so. Unfortunate. Who's it gonna be? Nope, nobody is. Hey, you. Whack. Nice. Love that. Honestly, so actually, you bring up a really interesting point there, and I don't know if this is, I don't know if Koopy Koo is a playable character in this, but right before I started this playthrough, as I was figuring out, like, the overlay and stuff like that, I found out that there's actually a mod, a big overhaul mod being made for Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door called Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door Hero Mode, and I joined the Discord for, for, server for it. It's made by a dude named Reed, and it looks pretty cool. I mean... I don't, I don't, I think there's playable versions of it now, and I think I can probably emulate it and play it on Dolphin, but I think there's actually a method to be able to play it on the GameCube, too, if you do, like, stuff with it. I don't know, I'll probably, I think what I'll do is, it, it's really interesting, I'll link it in the gaming channel on the Discord for anybody who's interested in something like that. Uh, there's instructions on their GitHub, and I, I think, uh, and that'll probably help for anybody who's interested in that stuff, but I know, I don't think I've yet, yet played enough vanilla Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Dare, so I'm not necessarily ready to go on to the mods just yet. However, I am very curious to see what the gameplay is like, and it looks like from the, at least from like the tra um, the trailer and the, the kind of teaser images, that it seems that you can play as a bunch of different types of characters. So, at the very least, like being able to play with a bunch of different characters from, I think, other Paper Mario games as well, sounds like really, really cool and something that I'd like to explore at some point in the future, but not yet now. In any case, there's the Hooktail Castle up there. And you know what that means. It's almost time for the end of this particular session here. But it'll be fun. It's okay. It's okay. We'll be back in we'll be back with more Paper Mario in two weeks. I promise. I promise. There won't be anything going on here. But this is the dreaded Hooktail Castle. And this, and we're gonna call it for the evening. Unless there's a cool actually I think there's a cool little like 
like a cinematic thing if I walk out this door, if I remember. Is it? Is it cool and cin- Yeah, 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 it is a cool cinematic. That's what I'm talking about. Hooktail Castle! It's the castle where Hooktail lives. Spooky. Oh, man. Hooktail Castle. The stories were all true. This place is terrifying! But not as terrifying is the long wait that we'll have to endure until next time. So everybody who came along, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I'm so excited. I can't, I can't even contain, I, I can't even not, I, I like understate how excited I am to be able to continue with this. I'm like, I feel like I remember so much about the game and I feel like at the same time, I remember so little about it. This will be like a total, total nostalgia trip. And I hope to goodness that everybody else gets to get a little bit of that nostalgia too, or a little bit something else in between. It's whatever that you wind up finding for yourself. So in conclusion, to everyone who had come around, thank you all. Thank you all so much for coming. This has been an absolutely wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. More so Wednesday full and more so more so exciting than other ones have been. And it's all because of y'all, so I appreciate it. Good night to Jeff. Good night to Llama. Good night to Guirini and Floral and Disney Queen and everybody else who popped on. I hope you'll have an absolute wonderful rest of your night if it's the night where you are. If it's the morning where you are, may you have a wonderful morning. As the sun shines, I hope it's a good ones afterwards. Aside from that, Maybe afternoon, maybe twilight, or evening. Wherever you are, have a wonderful, wonderful whatever times you're in. The party continues next time, y'all. Bye!